Deep. Are we having a recap? Yes, oh, previously. Lovely. Your cat licked my elbow. Previously, we were all asking for the big black one that we tell you. The one that looks like a small dog comes anywhere near you. Do not get involved with him at all. Okay. He will purr and purr and purr and then he will bite you. Okay. So nice. just ignore him. <clears throat> and he particularly likes ladies. On that note. <laughs> I don't broadcast in this one. Huh? I don't broadcast in this one. I'm filming uh, from there. Oh, oh hello. hello. Sneaky. Uh, oh, that's nice. Like it's stuff. not live broadcast though, so it will be an upload later. Oh. So you can feel free to say all the normal things you say about what we're worried about. Um, <laughs> so, last time, oh, you have, um, you have, um, <clears throat> You have been investigating, uh, well actually you haven't, you, about a week ago, a group of goblins attacked the town centre. Um, someone had left the, the, uh, the stone gate and the, the, the gate walls open. You never discovered who that was. Um, um, however, Vincent, huh? sorry. It wasn't Vincent, that was your, that was your sorcerer, that's your sorcerer friend. It might have been him, but that would have been <laughs> <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> um, when the goblins attacked, they also attacked the uh, cathedral, or at least one of the tombs in the cathedral, and stole a body. Yeah. You decided to investigate. Oh, that's very loud. Um, and uh, someone decided to play a violin. <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh, you then also found that the um, your girlfriend uh, what's her name? Her name is uh, Amiko. Amiko, who is also the proprietor of the Rusty Dragon Inn, uh, apparently has gone missing. A letter was left from her brother Suto, who asked her to meet her at the glass house where he would explain why the goblins had attacked the town. You decided to go to the glass house as adventurers, heroic adventurers as you are, and uh, you, were, you found that they were creatures of nightmare um, all around the, the uh, glass house, and a um, particularly strange angel-winged lady who you fought uh, and she yeah. disappeared um, you also fought some goblins by the beach you found a ruined ship uh, which you proceeded to uh, oh, burn and blast and in so doing lost your goblin ally gringo who sadly perished in the way <laughs> <laughs> hey it was a group decision that i used the big flag i don't know yeah, my flag <laughs> Push her off, Annie. She actually annoyed me. Push her off. Anyway, yeah. Delving into the glassworks, you found a ancient temple or ruin underneath the glassworks, and there contained was some sort of being that responded to magic. Uh, specifically by growing every time you cast a spell. Oh God, yes. Um, and then they left, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, but then we were really nice and broke their cage. Yeah. yeah. So they're friends now. <laughs> Releasing this demon thing into the um, into the world. We'll have no repercussions. To... Huh? We'll have no repercussions. <laughs> we'll have no repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> um, you. Uh, you made your way through the smuggling tunnels back to town and oh, yeah. um, as you come through one of the rooms of the inn, the Rusty Dragon Inn itself, as you come out you can hear the sound um, uh, in the night sky of drums oh, and as you look through the window you can see that the forests around the town um, are lit up, small fires everywhere. And there is the sound of what, um, what appears to be an army encamped around the town. Well, many, many goblins. 
many, many, many goblins uh, chanting and singing and lighting fires in the forest around the town. Sorry. <laughs> no, it was a team effort. <laughs> they all come to the funeral, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> bring God, bring God. No. Um, uh, you can see this outside of one of the uh, the rooms. Um, you also hear heated voices in the main room of the inn. There appears to be a lot of people talking. In the main room. Okay. So you've just come up in one of the storerooms. You're looking out the window. Uh, and you can hear and you can see the the, um, the, the sound of drums and, and you can see, you can hear the, um, because you're at the bottom towards the coast and it starts to rise up into mountainous uh, regions. So the forest is actually, you can see the forest all around you and you can see like a ring of flame and fire um, all around the, uh, the town. Okay. It's not on fire, it's just lots of campfires. Oh, okay. it's the, it's the, it's, it looks like a, a large encampment. Uh, of uh, humanoids, and you imagine them to be goblins because you can just about hear singing and you can hear goblin drums. Okay. Um, but you can also hear much closer a conversation between uh, several dozen people in the main uh, bar room of the inn. Okay. They don't know we're there. No, because no. we've come up through the cellar, well, through the smugglers. And can we actually hear what they're saying? Yeah, you can come up closer. Um, you can hear uh, there seems to be arguing. You can hear the sheriff's voice. Um, you can hear the uh, the priest in the cathedral's voice. Um, you can hear. Make a perception. Perception. Yeah. With that. <laughs> no, this is just for um, oh. Jeff. Okay. Oh. Thank you. you hear a familiar voice? Um, male or female? Male. But it's one that you haven't heard in some time. A little bit higher pitched. Well, not higher pitched. Um, and a, a musical kind of voice. No mishpahs. No mishpahs. <laughs> <coughs> Oh. So you're going to wait in the storeroom, or do you want to try and listen in, so, or do you want to burst in, or what do you want to do? I can, I can effectively get past people, can I? Mm -hmm. Without them seeing me. No, I think we're in relatively safe. Yeah, so let's think. <coughs> The sheriff thinks we're all right. Because we've done the oh, goblins. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. So we could just come up through the smuggling then? The um, head honcho priest Priesty man, guy. Mm. He quite likes us. Because we just went and said hi and didn't particularly upset him. I didn't try to shoot him or nothing. <laughs> um, Win. <laughs> Everyone else? remain calm. This is very loud. Oh, we better stay You there. recognize that as Lady Cassandra's voice. Oh, okay. Not Cassandra, Alexandra's voice. We need a plan. And we need to act fast. And then it descends into a lot of archery. And probably should go up. Yeah. We'll do, do our services. Do, do we enter like Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> well, no, because. <laughs> Faust has got yeah fifty percent share in this place, so yeah. we're allowed to be there. Yeah, it's not yeah. Like... So he walks in, goes, "Oh, so in, so ends the tour of the." <laughs> That's the storeroom. <coughs> now she's the one that you did shoot last time. Yeah, but, but, I no, know, but she house. gave us because yeah, we, yeah. we only killed yeah. her mum and her dad. Yeah. And shot her. I healed her. So what's not to like? Her. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, I think we ought to go and investigate the gnomish voice and see if the gnomish yeah. voice. Recognises me. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Because then we. Are you are you friendly with the names or? Yeah, I think. The work was left. When I was oh, you did. You did a six-month stint. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. 
I I came across these guys and hung out with them for a while, and one of them, who affectionately known as Zesty, um, we got along quite well, and Zesty was kind of wanted to go, was thinking about sort of a life change, getting a little bit bored doing whatever we do. So Zesty, you have travelled from your home village because the forest has been overrun by goblins of all sorts of tribes. Um, you have come to the town of uh, Greyfell to ask for aid um, because your um, village, although protected by magic, um, you can't find food except for in the forest. So you have come uh, out to Greyfell um, on your own because you're quite stealthy um, to ask for help. And when you found the town, you found everybody is locked in argument. An army has encircled the town, and uh, uh, the various nobles and the, um, the the authorities in the town don't seem to know what to do. Um, in the midst of that, you can hear from one of the back rooms a familiar voice, and you can hear a bunch of people kind of stumbling and uh, <laughs> uh, talking in one of the back rooms, who would easily be heard if uh, uh, if not for the fact that all the other <laughs> big people okay. are, are, are talking for them. You can hear everybody. Stop talking. No, you stop talking. No, you stop. <laughs> okay, let's um, open the door. Yeah. Describe yourself. In what respect? What, is what does she see? He see? Uh, me opening a door. Well, I'm what not, do you look like? I'm not being threatening. I'm not going on all armed up. No, no, but what do you look like? In what respect? Yeah, your phys if you were to describe yourself physically to someone else, how would you describe yourself? Um, I'm I'm very large. Large. <laughs> very large <coughs> and intimidating. Yes. So this is your you would recognise this big fellow. Um, he is uh, roughly just under seven foot tall, very well muscled, grey skinned, no body hair whatsoever. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> that's how they. That's how Goliath does. Allegedly, uh -huh. Goliath <laughs> don't have thing. body hair. They are um, descendants from stone giants. They are, they are um, uh, miniature stone giants, if you like. Um, but yes, so he's uh, standing there in the room, and behind him is Faust, who looks like. Um, well, if you can see him, that's a bonus, because normally you can't. Fun <laughs> <laughs> <Fun> facts! <laughs> yeah, you can actually see me. Um, like, robed, blue person with demon horns. <laughs> <laughs> Great! <laughs> and standing next to him is Vincent. Hello, I, I'm a human, um, but I've got a cat that's currently on my shoulder that isn't phasing in and out because he's <laughs> a pain in the ass. And, um, yeah, and... Uh, I, I try to look uh, cool and suave and sophisticated and trip over my own feet. <laughs> <laughs> and Neve. Hello, I'm little, and I've got a lovely, little, nice little lilt and a bow and arrow. It's totally deep. And a cape. And I can sing and dance. And you're an elf. I am an elf. <laughs> and then and Zesty ball. is. What does Zesty look like? I look like a gnome. <laughs> exactly like a forest gnome. I'm just checking on the gnome. <laughs> I look like a forest gnome. All right, you have reunited. You, this is your best. Uh, well, this is your friend that you spent many months with. Well, four or five in the in the forest together. Dusty, how are you? What are you doing here? I thought you were living in the forest. Mm. Yes, but we need help, please. Oh. <laughs> please come and help me. Okay. Um, the silence you... has hit the uh, in the floor. Uh -oh. You can see that everybody has turned around to look at The bar is filled with uh, many of the important people in the village you recognise. Yeah. Um, merchants, uh, <coughs> a lot of the town guard. Um, you can Hello. see the sheriff, Thurrock, his name is. Um, Adern Foxglove, the noble who invited you to uh, uh, go hunt with him. Is uh, in the corner looking very shifty and very worried indeed. Uh, is this a Brexit party? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you see Father Tobias, the young priest, uh, who uh, is uh, trying to calm everyone. Um, Lady Alexandra, who looks like she's got her head in her hands. And as you come in, um, everyone turns to look at you. So, <laughs> where did you come from? That's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to help is the question you should be asking. Ignore them, your ladyship. They probably brought the goblins here. This is Derek, the, uh, the sheriff. Well, I was did you tram one of me? <laughs> <laughs> Before we start apportioning blame, <laughs> what's the problem? What's the problem? The problem <laughs> is outside. <laughs> Hundreds of goblins have come to, and they threaten uh, the very existence of this town. We are not well equipped to uh, fight them off. Have they said this so much? I mean, it could be a, a party. It could be a, an annual... Has anyone gone to have a word with them? Yeah. Have they made any demands? Or are they just camping outside? <clears throat> No, no, excuse me, my father to buy. You can't negotiate with goblins. They're cursed creatures of darkness and they must be burnt. Uh, it wow. releases their souls and, and then they can be um, reintegrated into the goodness of beings. Such teaches Sharia, goddess of mercy and healing. Uh, is, is, this that the is this the breeze? <laughs> The priest guy is saying that we should embrace Hold on, no, it's a cursed one. Well, don't worry, cursed one. You can come to our temple and pray, and maybe the evil can be burnt out of you at some point. <laughs> can I just talk to Um, <laughs> Not yet, yeah, but he's on the list. <laughs> uh, How about you this? have made the list. <clears throat> um, okay. You've obviously got a lot to talk about. <laughs> um, we're gonna we'll leave you to it. And, oh, and say oh, to him, oh my friends, my friends, my colleagues, oh you've come back! Which is a damn fox glove, the uh, noble that you saved from goblins before. You've come to save me again! Yep. He comes at you and gives you a huge hug. Um, which is looks ridiculous because he's a lot shorter and <laughs> Thinner than you, he seems to be just holding on to your leg. Right. Adern, mate. <laughs> you have a word with your friends here. We're going back to our tower. Get a bite to eat. If you want to find us, we'll be there. And I'm, we're going to invite Zesty to come with. And leave him to it. Okay. Um, if everyone's in agreement. The idea oh. is, we find out from Zesty. Yeah. A, how he got into the... If there's a, load of goblins all over the place because yeah. we got in as a way out yeah and sounds like a good time to be elsewhere so let's pack up and get the hell out of dodge <laughs> Baz, what do we reckon? grab us a few bottles of uh, <laughs> squelch <laughs> yep diet squelch for me I'm <laughs> you're just gonna get up and leave well if you don't want our help are you the priest for that no. No, he's I'm um, Thurak, sheriff of this town. Oh, he'd be very racist. Sorry, we'll not leave him. No, that's his father's Tobias. I am racist, but I haven't proved it yet. Thurak, <laughs> 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 we've obviously just walked in in the middle of a town meeting. Don't want to in interrupt due process. Mm. Mm. We'll be in our tower. If you want us, yeah. we'll be there for you. Can you Finish discussing whatever you're discussing. If you want to tell us about it or ask us anything, you know where to find us. That way we're not interfering. Goblins may attack at any time. This is Alexander Tobias. I would prefer you to stay. Mm. You've got any grub then? <laughs> You've just had no grub for ages, apparently. This Everyone's is... very hungry. Zesty, yes? Uh -huh. You have requested hungry. our aid in helping your village. Yes, please. As you see, we are ourselves surrounded. So it is I who is requesting your aid. 
we don't know what to do. All right, uh, this starts arguing, whatever and stuff. So when you say come to you for help, let me shortcut that. I am coming to you for help. Mm -hmm. What should we do? This is Alexandra that we're talking mm -hmm. to. It would seem the most logical course of action is to actually get some intel on exactly what yeah. we're dealing with. Because at the moment, we've got a bunch of campfires, we can see a load of goblins. But they haven't attacked yet. No. But they could be trying to intimidate us, they could be trying to mask their numbers by moving very quickly. We don't know what's going on. Why don't we go and have a bit of a poke around? <laughs> poke around, goblins. Don't be ridiculous, man. Goblins are scum. We must fight. We must it's rally the town guard. Yeah. Shalaya is with us. We can burn them I'm going to cast magic on this. <laughs> turn, I'm going to turn him into a thing. Where are we? Because <laughs> he's pissing me off now. He's quite nasty, isn't he? Yeah. You're a bit nasty. Yeah. Christ. Yeah, fella, you are really... Stuff. Where are you? Spells. You're going to polymorph him. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, polymorph him because, yeah, you... I'm going to turn him into a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> That's your standard spell, go on. <coughs> so, 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 it, what's your spell say, DC? So, um... Attack uh, uh, 16. Right, so um, you, in, 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 the, in the room, yeah. you sort of summon magical energy. This is quite a powerful spell. So yeah. this sort of arcane uh, purple energy swirl around you and you will into him. Yeah. He goes, ah, ah! And as the arcane energies hit him, they hit the holy symbol around his chest yeah. and the magic just seems to dissipate. Okay. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> None of your foul magic can work it. I pick Gentlemen, up a plate. Please stop. I, I pick up a plate and throw it. Let's roll an attack roll. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, he's got on class. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh god, that's a D twelve. This is D twelve. Oh no, sorry. Chris, 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 Chris. That's a D twenty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you you pick up a big plate that, uh, that had some barbecue chicken on it that slips to the floor. Throw the plate, but the grease from the from the chicken, <laughs> the plate skitters and then kind of rolls at his feet. And there's a the kind of silence as it wobbles. And, uh, <laughs> this is how all I'm thinking of going home. <laughs> This free spell is really, really winding me up. Yeah, I know. That's why I tried to do the now, plate thing. <laughs> do you remember I can turn into any beast that we've seen? <coughs> oh, yeah. But, I don't know. I think I might have already escalated things a little bit too much. <laughs> we'll save, right. save that for Act 3. <laughs> I'm going to do quite a bit of intimidation. On who? Oh, that was um, my... Yeah, oh, okay. Oh. Maybe both of you could do it. On... Um, Who's the person that's their spokesperson? That seems to be a, a, a uh, They seem to be arguing. So there seems to be um, uh, one, two, three, four, four people who seem to. Uh, and by the way, everyone make a perception roll. Oh. 20. 20. 10. Plus. 16. That's all. Oh! Nice. What did you get? 20. Right, so um, <laughs> everyone notices that, um, I mean, there's about 30 or 40 people in this room. Um, Lady Alexandra seems to be nominally in charge, mm. but nobody seems to be um, overly won over to what there seems to be four factions in the room. Yeah, who so are although Lady Alexandra is nominally in charge, marginally, Thurrock Stern. Yep. is the sheriff and he seems to control the town guard okay. they seem to look to him to see what to do mm. um uh lady alexandra has a golem in this room uh, which is Ooh. a sort of a, um, a, a metallic uh, humanoid it's smaller than the one you saw before 
um, but it, it seems to be a, a mechanized servant that is um, uh, following her, and it seems to engender a lot of respect. He's carrying um, a very large blade at his back. <laughs> and a severed head in the um, Although a Dern Fox Club is kind of shivering to himself in the corner, he seems to have about six or seven private guards with him as well, mm -hmm. so he, he contains uh, some influence. And Father Tobias seems to have most of the uh, merchants and uh, um, common people in the bar. When he speaks, they seem to nod their heads and say, we should do what the priest says. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, there's four different factions here. On your natural 20, you notice that um, there is one uh, particular uh, person that you've only seen a few times before, and they seem to have a number of people looking to him as well. He's a very large man. Um, Ball, <clears throat> when I say large, it, it looks like he's eaten three or four people. He, he's, he, he's just like a huge barrel of a man. So he doesn't appear to be kind of wobbly and infirm. We haven't met this guy before. No, though. you haven't. But you have seen. He reminds, with your twenty, you remember that the symbol that he carries uh, is that of the unshackled. They are a group that came to town to talk about freeing themselves from worship of the gods, that sort of thing. That you should. Uh, they're, they're kind of humanist. That, was that uh, one of the function. temples that we took ownership of? Oh, was, uh, was it? No, it no. was a temple that um, that you had a fight in. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, they, 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 they said yeah. they. they uh, Did they have an occupational hazard? <laughs> yeah. But they, they took their they, they took their back. property back. Okay. Yeah. Um, but he doesn't seem to be saying anything at all. So this Princess Alexander, this clerk who is in charge of the guard, Princess Alexander has her own golem. Who are the other two factions? So, Alexandra, Thurrock the Sher, mm -hmm. Adern the Noble, and Tobias the, the, priest. Uh, the priest. So, who but do you But the want? Noble doesn't seem to have an awful lot of power, does he? I mean, he's kind of pleading with us. Yeah, isn't well, he? yeah, he, he, he's on our side. Mm, this, this. Mm, I'm glad I caught you while the others are up. I need to hire you. Get me the hell out of no. here. Uh, I will pay you 5,000 gold pieces if you will get me out of here. Look, you know how to get places. You can do stuff, right? Let's get out of here and we'll, we'll, we'll send me. We... I know. We can go to Imam, the capital city. We will go there and, and um, bring back reinforcements to save the town. What do you say? Why are you not telling everyone this? It's a secret plan. <laughs> what do you know about what's gone on? Well, I was honestly, I was having a drink, and um, uh, as you do, I think I was my third bottle. Uh, not, not too much. And um, then all these goblins came, and, and then the goblins came before, and. Uh, Do you think you know? You might be able. To, uh, uh, you, you you have a goblin. No, do you've got a pet goblin? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a sore. Maybe topic. you're right. Maybe you can talk to them. Uh, you're you're one of those funny things, aren't you? I mean, you you're grey. They're green. Solidarity. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. We really need to get something to eat because we're starving. We're going back to ours. Yeah. When you can make a decision amongst yourselves, or the towns come to a decision, let us know and we'll see how we can help you out. We'll be back in half hour. Okay. There's silence as we need. I have a plan. Right. Yeah. Let's duck around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your plan? So this is a plan that he communicates to us without. You, um, yeah. you see that um, as you leave, the uh, the bald man, uh, we'll just call him uh, Baldy Man, Baldy, yeah. Baldy man <laughs> <laughs> looks to sit watch you as you leave, and then whispers something to one of his uh, um, associates. Um, we clock this, yeah. I nod in his direction as we're leaving. And go, yeah, I've seen you, mate. He smiles. <laughs> 
Good, so we've seen each other. <laughs> a happy smile or a... I'm going to cut you smile. <laughs> kind of <laughs> Boris Johnson just after I'm the election I'm going to eat smile. you next. Oh yeah, that no was Trump's, yeah. Um, <laughs> lunch. I think the first thing we need to know is how Zesty got into Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to hear, uh, hear the plan. The possible plan. If he, yeah. if he wants to seek out, let's take 5,000 gold for him to tell him to visit Bob Seawolf and what happens. <laughs> what? Well, you make your way back if to your gate. He pays 5,000 gold and I'll just tap him to tell him to visit Bob Seawolf. But at home. the moment, we're fairly flush. Yeah. yeah We've got a load of gear yeah. in a tower in a city that's about to be ransacked by a bunch of goblins. Mm. But they haven't done it yet. No. Yeah. No, so it's like they're waiting on some sort of signal. Yeah. Are we Why? absolutely sure they're goblins? No, we're not, because we only know it's goblin drums. We don't know they're actually goblins. I mean, I, think we should find point, I, I personally think we'll find out how Zesty got in. Yeah. If we can all go out that way and have a a scout around and actually see what's going Reconnaissance. What. Yeah. Yeah. And <clears throat> you are one of the little folk. You know, really? paths that others cannot walk. You can uh, step between worlds. She might be able to follow you, but the others cannot. Right. You know that from now. Um, your so uh, elves and gnomes are yeah, part of the Feywild. Yeah. yeah, so um, you're not quite completely of this world. Mm. Um, as a result, uh, you've got a few spells that let you do that, but you, they don't really. You're very sneaky. So uh, another human being that is really, really sneaky could probably follow you, but they'd have to be really good. Okay. No, so I've got no chance. So are you going to ask your mate what happened? What happened? Don't know. <laughs> so not, went to the pub, asked for help. Everyone yelled. <clears throat> You saw, um, <laughs> I mean, I you. good crazy. I thought so. Yeah. Three nights ago, mm -hmm. you were having your standard uh, gnomish evening uh, oh, with the gnomes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, really? and, I was going to say, I'm a loving gnome of the chicken. I seem to have a theme tune. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when uh, one of the forest glades near your village, uh, you could smell smoke and fire. And um, when you dis you volunteered to sneak forward to see what was going on, um, there were a bunch of wild animals that had been rounded up and were being slaughtered by goblins uh, in a kind of very sick masochistic game. They were kind of snaring them and then um, throwing darts at them while they were still alive, that sort of thing. Um, singing their horrible songs while they did so. I like you... to move it, move it. <laughs> <laughs> he liked to move it. In that glade, you saw the uh, a tall woman with white hair who um, was the most beautiful the person yeah, yeah, yeah. you have ever seen. She had something, and it's not a kind of lusty beauty it was a kind of ethereal um she moved with a grace that didn't see even for you was graceful um and when she turned uh, away from whatever she was the, the the goblins she flew into the air on wings uh thick white uh feathered wings and flew into the night sky jax now and you might know if the answer to this because I've forgotten. Mm. Is she she has wings, but she wants to be a beast. Is yeah, that correct? it was. It was. Uh, she's, she's trying to turn herself into a beast. A uh, succubus. A succubus. Yeah. Right. That's the that's the why I, I remember it being. Um, Suto. Um, you, you've got oh oh apologies. Um, I'm going to say that you um, kind um kind of um. You wouldn't have been able to sneak him out of the uh, uh, of the inn. You have a hostage. Yeah. You have took Suta. Him, you took him alive. Her oh boyfriend. God! <laughs> so, um, oh crap! Is that her boyfriend or her brother? I can't remember. Uh, if you wanted to keep, it's her brother. Yeah. So um, 
Oh my god. Where did we leave him? I'm going to say that you brought brought him and you you put him into the supply room of the inn and you pushed him through the window. Yeah. Uh, And then you collected him on your way out. Right. So you did that. Unless you wanted to show him to everybody. No, (laughs) because that would have escalated things. Okay. Suto so. is the son of uh, one of the noble lords who was supposed to be the head of this town, but who left. He's Skadaddle, didn't he? Yeah, he left uh, a few days uh, after the, the first the, goblin attack. The blue ribbon line or whatever it was, not uh, Yes, so he, um, Blue Line Shipping, the Blue Line mm-hmm. Shipping Company, he, he left that. with, he, he is a shareholder, apparently. He owns some of that. Uh, Lord Kajuto. Okay, um, I think we he, need to put him in. Oh, right. Suto. Heal the drone. Could you tell? Hang on. Was not Suto the one that was Kajay lying... Kajai Kara, I think. Kajai? No, no, it's not. Prostate on the K- altar K- K- that Kajai. had the big thing. Uh, K-A-J. Am I going to say somebody's name? Kajitsu. Yeah, but he was laughing at us, wasn't he, at the end? Yeah. Because we freed the monster, which is what he wanted. That monster is something to do with your woman with the wings and her becoming a succubus, no? I think that's that, but... Yeah. Well, you, you've got the notes. Mm. You've got um, a note and a diary. Do you want me to read you the mm-hmm. diary? Page mm. the raid went as well as planned, that one. Yeah. Have you got it down? Page the raid went as uh, planned. Tobin's casket. Smoking tunnel, glass works, leaks. Oh, no. That's okay. right. That is right. Smoke beach and longer route to town. There's a rib nugget, quartz its aid. Convey from the river. Brotherless, bugbear. Now Fessel can uh, release. So that's that's who that's who we released or no that was the other other one. You um you released uh something you don't we don't know understand. What it is. Okay. The diary says something about um releasing Malfesh Nekor. Yeah. Um and that once that is released, um Lamatsu uh, the ritual can begin, and the Matsu's fires will reforge um, his lover's body, oh, yeah. and hopefully it will be hideous. Maybe she'll turn into a succubus. So it doesn't say that she wants to be a succubus. It, it says that um, he's hoping that she wants to change her body, but he's hoping that she won't change it too much because right. he likes he? her. Who's Suto. This is Suto's diary you have. You have Suto captive, and you have Suto's diary. And the one with the wings, then, is not his, if he is his lover. Yes, that's what he's saying. That's what he says in his diary. Um, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's conscious, isn't he? Um, and they say that he is when you get into your tower. Okay. So you kept him unconscious to keep him quiet. As, have we been followed by anyone? Make a perception roll. Oh. Alan, can you throw it into the purple thing, please? Just throw it nope. into the <laughs> No, no. Another three. <laughs> Can't do a perception. <coughs> you can with disadvantage. Yeah. Disadvantage, because he's done your perception off with it. Disadvantage means you take the lowest of two rolls. No. So uh, advantage right. means take the highest of two rolls. But so okay, um, you're back. Is is it's dark. You do notice that um, a lot of people are looking at you when you that they open their windows and they shutter them again. Um, there's a lot of very scared people. It always oh, helps. Does anybody know what goblins are afraid of? Other goblins. Other goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Loneliness. Fire. That's where the Where have you taken me? What is this? Am I back in town? Ah, oh, this is your place. What? Suto. Mm. It's about to go boundy around here. There's a lot of goblins around. <laughs> I take it you weren't planning this. No, no, I wasn't. Oh, I, this has all gone so horribly wrong. I only wanted to do good things, really. Oh. <laughs> well, 
think I'll be I don't, misled. I don't think I need to roll for perception. <laughs> <laughs> so, Suto, you rolled the one. Let me put this another way. way. Oh, so, let me put this another way. <laughs> if you plan this, you planned a way out. Tell us your way out, and we'll let you go. Or show us your way out, and we'll let you I go. I can do that. Cool. I can show you how to not worry about. Oh no. no that? But you will have to trust me. And gave me access to certain chemicals. That'd be a new. Right. <laughs> I was I thinking more help. like a smuggler's tunnel. Can I you know my way through the smuggler's out? tunnel. I can lead you out. That'll do. Very well. And what do I get? Get to not die. Yeah. And how do I know you won't kill me as soon as I leave you out? How do you know we won't kill you now? <laughs> because you'll be killed by hundreds of goblins? Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> I've already killed goblins before. <laughs> this is gone. Okay. You got it? Got it. If you want to play a game with bluff, that's fine. No, no, no. I will oh, happily you... lead you out. I have no desire to save the people of this town. Let them all burn. Uh, let us go. Right. Come. Give us five minutes. Um, I say we take everything we can carry, shove it in a bag of holly and get the fuck out of Dodge. Anybody disagree? I, uh, I don't know. What, we're going to leave Alexander, Alexandra to her... I mean, we've saved her so many times. <laughs> yeah, it seems a little bit. <laughs> You're invested. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, it's a bit like, oh, well, yeah, it's drama queen, <laughs> <laughs> let's just go. Well, yeah, but she's got a golem. She has, yeah. yeah. You know, everybody's got armed guards. Oh, you think they're safe in the pub, do you? Well, yeah, but what about all the other people? And... I, 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 are we, is he still tied up? Because that must be causing some kind of um, reaction from people. As, or is it just usual kind of Thursday night frolics? In the, we I'm going to gonna assume we he kind to... of helped him back as if he was drunken. I'm assuming right. he's not bound. Okay. He's, stand, he's, he's very close to you. He's not, yeah. he's not like a million miles away. No. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to leave town and go work? I think we need to find out... Get physical eyes on what's going on. Whether yeah. you know whether you this is a load of goblins that are actually yeah, yeah, making yeah. war plans, or whether it's a load of goblins that have been told just go out Stay and there because they haven't attacked, and that no. seems odd. If yeah. they attacked Zesty's place without any warning, they just came in and attacked. They haven't attacked here, which sounds like they're waiting for a signal from somebody, or there's something due to arrive. There's always, always something here that they 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 they're. they're Maybe fearful of, or they they don't mm, want to. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You mean go and check these goblins out, yeah. right? Yeah. I I don't think we can do a great deal from inside the city. No. Okay. The only legitimate way of getting out that we know of is to go through one of back the back through the tunnel that we went, or back out to the beach and climb up the cliffs, which is a long way for a shortcut. Yeah. But sure as eggs is eggs is. If there's one tunnel out of the... Yeah, there's going to be um, more. Yeah. You reckon he knows where that is. Of course it does. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's an old family smuggling place, isn't it? There's got to be... Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, the, my, okay. my point is, we could sneak out, check things out, and come back if we wanted. Yeah. We don't have to go for good. Yeah, yeah. But I think it, we this need more information before Ooh. we can make a decision. Okay. This is Suto. Yeah. Minus the bow. Yes. All right, then. Yeah, yeah, no, I think no, that's I'm, I'm happy to take other opinions, but I, I think that's... Yeah. What do you reckon, Zesty? You in? Uh, yes. <laughs> Following you, because you're very large at the moment. I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> but you're an old mate, and you're probably right. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's do it, then. Let's go see. Yeah. So, 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 so we so. have an accord. We don't trust you. We're not going to kill you right now. Show us how we can get out of here. Very well. We must go to the cathedral. 
There we will find our escape route. <laughs> in the catapult. <laughs> don't even worry, he's saying. <laughs> I don't even believe we need to go to the cathedral. <laughs> we must go to the catacombs of the cathedral. Okay. Underneath, where they buried the dead, there is a pathway. If we follow it, it will lead us to just outside the town. From there, oh, we can go anywhere. And don't worry about the goblins. I can take care of them. But when we serve, didn't we go down that tunnel and it turned into all that really weird stuff? Yes, but you don't know the secret door that I know. Mm. 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 Can I, um, <laughs> do I have anything that I can tell that whether he is actually telling us the you truth? You can make an insight roll. I have quite a bit of insight. Uh, you, one of you can also I've cast a six. spell that might be useful here. I was going to say, can I cast a spell? Do I not have a spell that I can cast? Where are my spells? Have you got anything that might be useful for this? Not that I'm aware of. I think you might have a spell, Jack. What, well, the protection from evil and good? Uh, mm-hmm. Do you not have Zone of Truth? Oh yes. Oh. The second level spell, that's a new one. I didn't have that before, did I? So the zone of truth does not compel people to tell you the truth, but it means that if they fail to resist the effects of the spell, they cannot lie in your presence. They can be silent, they can uh, lie by omission, but they can't tell you a lie. Right. Right. That's rather oh, okay, useful. Yeah. Piece no, of no, I didn't even quite know I had that. Quite a conversation, though, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Um, I'm going to cast Zone of Truth. What's the spell DC? Good question. Um, there's no failure. <laughs> 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 you just rolled a two. So um, that's fine. Uh, you. Um, How would I find that out, by the way? So it? on the uh, on the character sheet, if you look at the all right, so all your spell DCs are listed there, so 13. So what he would have to do is roll higher than 13. So on a charisma um, saving throw. Yeah. So saving throw is a bit different, but they add, they add pluses to it. So you right. might have a plus six, for example. So you would have to roll something plus Are you two. printed your back? No, I don't. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's good. Um, but he, he doesn't have it. He has got a plus four. To his and he rolled a two, so he got six, which is not enough to uh, beat your uh, thirteen. So uh, the spell takes you can you can feel the spell take effect. He's a oh, very clever. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, Suto, how do we actually get out of the town? Because we know the catacombs is not a healthy place. Is there genuinely a way out down there that we can survive? <laughs> I'm not sure of your ability. Okay, well, I've got, I've got, I've got a way out. What for all of us? They just oh, fly no, just for myself. <laughs> That's useful. The Faust way. <laughs> oh no, I can't. Um, I can. I can make two of us fly. I can hey, fly. You and I can probably sneak out anyway. The sneaky way I come in, so you're just stuck. Is Gertrude Dool genuinely only a fight to be? I'm not too sure no, right. for you. Yeah. <laughs> you can take um, I can someone else anyway. with you who is your size. So you will be able to take anyone else apart from maybe uh, Jet. But it's so, not very far. It's like a it's like a five hundred feet teleport. Yeah. Yeah. Oh you can teleport, can you? Um do we, so, do we all need to go? I mean, if all no, we're going to do is no, see the, what's going on. The, the, pro- the problem is, we, it, it, we've made the mistake before where we split up the oh, There is right. something and I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and no. No. Okay. And I have fire. something I can <laughs> make. <laughs> what can you make? I can make a potion that can help all of us escape. But I will need some chemicals to do so from a lab. We can find these in the catacomb. I have a stash there. 
Or? He really desperate to get stuck up. Yeah, what, 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 what else knocking. is in the catacombs? What about the glass? Yeah. There's yeah. lots of things. Is there any danger for after? us there? Yeah, <laughs> what was your question? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Amongst all those lots of things that you have there, is there danger for us? Yeah. Oh, but also, I, I it's think it's killing. <laughs> no, no, no. I can teach you how to make a potion that will turn you, at least for some time, into a goblin. Mm. Well, I can, I can already turn into a goblin. Then I can offer you nothing. <laughs> can you? Well, I can turn into anything that I've seen. Yeah. No, no. That's uh, you can turn into any animal. Oh, goblins are humanoid, are they? Oh my god, I could actually turn into a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> or appear to. Um, you also understand illusion magic. You can do, you can, you can uh, make yourself not turn into a goblin, but look like a goblin. So you can look like a goblin, you can look like a goblin. I can look like... And a cat. Bear. <laughs> and a cat. I, I can just send the cat in and um, hide in the corner. Goblins eat cats. I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> well, no. You, you, don't you remember? <laughs> don't you remember? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> your, your cat. Your your cat went missing. When drink when he first bought Kinko back. Bitten. <coughs> cat's very good. <laughs> Listen, I am Ooh, in a gosh. dangerous situation. I need to get back. I have been away for too long, so I'm going to make you an offer. You're playing for the wrong side, the losing one. Everyone here, everyone you have loved, everything you own is going to burn. However, you can avoid that by joining me. I will vouch for you as my new allies. Accompany me to Thistletop. Oh, things, oh, but, oh, oh. So, so you're saying that the town won't burn if we do that? <laughs> No, I've seen the town will burn, but you will avoid being but burned. You will be burned, yeah. <laughs> Bitch on the teeth leg! <laughs> <laughs> so, how much do you think you guys are? We... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have blessed blood, my friend. Blessed blood. You see, this is the kind of racist I like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, just so we're clear on this. Hey, he doesn't hate me. We're not big on affiliating. <laughs> We're prepared to, to help people when it's advantageous to us. At the moment, you're shit out of luck. You need us more than we need you. We could just take you back to the inn. How's that gonna look? You will be brave heroes, having saved the son of the local lord from the goblins. No once we tell him what you've done. What have I done? You know what you've done. You don't remember what I've done. You've done all the things. <laughs> <laughs> all the things. All of them. Not just some. Oh, all of the things. things. Twice. I do <laughs> hope you're my prosecutor. With horns on and everything. Um, Listen, this does not have to be hostile. I am offering you a way out. See, Tom, Join me. I'm going to describe somebody to you. I'll be interested in your reaction. So I gave him a very good description of Mr. Big Geezer. Holy man. Does Suto react in any way, shape, or form? He seems curious. Make a persuasion roll. Our performance. Performance action. How squash are you oh, a guy? Oh, yes, please. No modifier. Thank you. As you're um, um, describing on, you see no real reaction uh, from him, but he does turn to look at one of the windows of your um, keep um, as if something was there. So, you know what I'm talking about. You know he's got eyes everywhere. Without our help, you're not getting out of it. I don't know who you're talking about. But you know what he represents. I don't know what you're talking about. But you seem to be afraid, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you're misleading here. Perhaps you 
you should be afraid. Well, listen, we can talk like this all evening, but eventually you're going to have to make a decision. Who are you going to help? <coughs> or these pathetic fools who deserve to burn? Oh, that's not very fair. Have we no. got stuff? I mean, if. Do you have If we just went. Yeah. Obviously, all these people would die. Okay. Is it. Well, we don't. We don't have we got stuff there? If we assume that, that those goblins are going to attack, how long. I'm trying to work out whether how much we care about helping these people. Well, <laughs> well technically, it's, it's what we're meant to be doing throughout. Right, so we, are, we do want yeah. to help people. So we, we are, are nice the, people. Yeah, so okay. the, the well, idea. We're kind of mercenaries, oh, yeah. guns for hire okay. type thing. So, really. Is yeah. someone going to pay us for saving the village? No. Well, no, we've, got a, we've got a few we've got, awards. I mean, he's the, he's the, 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 the Lord Sugar. Oh, no, in, in the village. Yeah. And I have yeah. previous amounts of wealth because I forged. But but no but but you've got no. a lot you, but then you could lose that if yeah. the if the, the tower goes up. Um, we've got insurance. To lose. No no no. But <laughs> do you have the insurance? It's insurance. <laughs> <I've> got... <laughs> Third party fire. So our only goblins. way out is to trust this <laughs> yes. guy on some level. <coughs> fully comp. Fully comp. <laughs> Unless we split up because Zesty and I can get out. I think your spell lasts for about a minute, so um, right. we'll more wear off by this point. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Faust can get Vincent out. Um, and we get you out. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what, what's blocking our way of getting out? Is it just we don't want to be seen, or it would be handy to get outside the ring of the goblin? So we yeah. I think if we just drive the gate. Out. There probably wouldn't be anyone would we'd be able to do that yeah. over by a couple of guards or something. Listen, you're not in trouble. You've done us a favour. You've released Malkanor. You are helping us. <coughs> and we're not a do you think Malkanor's at the centre? I think Malkanor was a, a thing that kept getting... Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, it's yeah. gone to the temple. Think it's gone to the temple? I have something stashed at the temple. If you take me there before we leave, I can retrieve it. It will help us. Copious amounts of dolphin porn. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge is power. It is goblin porn. Yeah. I'm only half elven. I have a virgin. So we, <coughs> either we tie this guy up and <laughs> knock him unconscious and we go with him really, that's our realistic option. Yeah, so, what, so if we do recommend time, what could we do? I, no. You better hurry or poor Amico might not survive. No. Okay, we, we'll, we'll go I to... I know the... where Amico is. I can take you to her. Okay, well... Look at him to harm her, but you know, I can't really help her if I'm stuck here. Is it make up his sister? No, it's my my uh It is my sister. So. Yeah, but yeah, so we can more power more. My power more, Listen, yeah. Hello. I knew this town and village was going to burn. I didn't want my sister to die. I took her somewhere safe, but my allies you know, they have urges too. I need to be there, if you know what I mean. To watch you be there. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, realistically, have, have we got a lot of choice? We're going around in circles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we, either we, we, either we, we go to... with him or we don't. We, so, we yeah. all those in favour are going with him? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, Suto. So, but, you want a short leech, mate. So, we make sure he's got no obvious weapons on him. Of course. I am in your power. It's all about power. Ooh. Um, what is it you need to pick up? A book. Right. Tell you what, you show us where the book is, we'll carry it, and then you show us the way out, and we'll talk about when you get it back. Alright, let's go. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so we sneak around to the cathedral. Much going on? Anybody particularly worried about watching this? You can see, um, as you come out from the keep, um, the people at the end seem to be dispersing to their homes. Uh, 
Lady Alexandra seems to be walking towards your keep with her golem. Um, Lord Foxglove seems to be going towards one of the small manor houses that is one of the properties he has here. He's heading there with his guards. Um, you can see the, the priest heading back towards the cathedral with uh, a couple of followers. Uh, the, um, the man who, from the Unshackled, you cannot see. Okay. Is, is it worth me going back to talk to... Oh, the sheriff is going with uh, Alexandra. They're both going um, towards your keep. Can I do a perception check and see if I see anyone that may or may not be watching through one of our windows? Uh, you roll perception. Three. Okay, you... It's kind of grimy, it's hard to see. You look around, it's dark. Um, and you've got you've got night vision, but it's it, it just looks um, it's kind of misty as well. The, it, the rain's starting to come, so it's it's. So if anybody's any good at hiding themselves, I'm not going to see anything. You, you don't notice anyone. Okay. It, is it is it worth me going to Alexander and the Chef just to let them know what our intentions are, seeing if they've got any insight they might be able to? Well, you told you told them to uh, come to you if they were going to ask you something. Yeah. Oh, and they have come to Yeah. Oh, I see. Yes. So I, I, I think if it's worth me going back and seeing what's going on, and then I can. Um. The, the, well, let's watch this. Can we hide Suto anywhere? As they, um, as uh, you can you're, you're, you're deciding that, and you're in the keep. Um, as you see, um, Alexandra and Burrock, uh, the golem and two guards start walking down the street towards you. Suddenly, um, <clears throat> from the ground, dark tendrils rise up around the golem. They wrap around very quickly. They jump to the side, and these things turn to blades, and it shreds the golem. And uh, sort of, uh, the golem starts to fall to pieces. The, the tendrils fall back down. Roll initiative. Roll well. And we all roll initiative. Roll a d20, add your dex oh, modifier, or add your initiative modifier. Two. Oh, Jesus. I'm not throwing absolute. D20, dance. add. Initiative. Initiative. Where will I find my initiative? Oh, I see it. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay, I got nine. And uh, my initiative is five. George, is that fourteen. Um, fourteen. Oh yeah. Okay. So you had. Okay. Got thirteen. Thirteen. I've got sixteen. I got fourteen. I got two. You got two. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Is that with your modifier? Well, my, I, 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 my, my, my yes. initiative is zero, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> okay, so this map isn't perfect, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 So this map isn't perfect, so that is going to represent your keep, the stone right. tower there. The rest um, opens up into the um, into the tower yeah. itself. Okay, so... So are um, we walking towards our keep now? So you're in your keep, you were just going okay. yeah. you, you to um, leave uh, when you saw uh, these two walking right. towards you. Um, We'll say the inn is 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 here. Mm -hmm. It's a bit closer than it should be, but we'll say it's there, and they're about here. Yeah. So her gold is <coughs> gone. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. Yeah. The tendril thing is that yoke, isn't it? Hey? The tendril thing is that yoke that probably is out of the cage. I don't it's know. It's... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, well, it's not the goblin. No, it? but it's really the way. <laughs> if it does that kind of thing, just without warning. I say we
Oh, the kind of tendrils that are arriving. This. Oh, um, this tree. Heavy. You want sand? No, I don't have any. Oh, yes, sorry. Tell me. Sorry. Very badly. That's alright. These have got to be 30 years old. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> two guards are dwarves, why not? And they're uh, his guards, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, she's got <coughs> nothing left, I think, yeah. Right, so you guys are all in the tower. Which way is the cathedral? It's uh, far to, uh, um, to this side. So you so see the priests go beyond, beyond them, yeah. Okay, so. On. Who's got 20? But on 20, um, these tendrils. You've sink got into a 20? Yeah. Oh. Who? Cavern? No. Uh, oh, well, uh, no. These tendrils sink into the ground, then rise up again, and uh, they form into these spider like creatures. Okay. Um, we're going to move forward and engage these uh, things. Mm -hmm. Oh, give me a bad dream. Sorry. Okay. Um, oh, brilliant. <laughs> so these creatures look like shards of, of, of absolute <laughs> darkness. Uh, they're, they're, as, as you look closely, you can see that there's a kind of writhing um, insect-like quality to all of them. Uh, like the, uh, Each one is made of Lots of smaller beasts all riding together, and they seem to just um, chill the air around them. You can see like a kind of mist come off them. Um, as this one dives up into this guard, um, uh, spider-like um, claws sink into him, and he turns dark grey, and he falls to the ground in ash. Okay, he um, he sort of screams. And the life force drains out of him and he crumbles to dust on the floor. Um, this thing jumps at this one. Um, he, he jumps right out of the way and it hits the um, side of the wall and scatters off. Uh, he seems to be fighting his off. Alexandra is backing off uh, and starting to chant a spell. Right. What do you guys do? Do, you want to do, do, we, do we go to the door? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do oh boy. Or fireball. Actually, is there anyone that we want to keep alive? Well, Alexandra and the Sheriff, I did. Yeah. yeah. The Sheriff I'm less concerned about. Yeah, but... Where's Vincent? Oh yeah, um... We're using, um... I couldn't find your mini, so I'm using another one. Where's that, that one? Go? The red one? Yeah, red one. Uh, we're using that as you at the moment. Oh, they're very particular. I don't know where your cat's gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, um, initiative order, what did you get? 11. 2. 14. You added your bonus to it, yeah? <laughs> We've already right. had that conversation. <laughs> right, so, Jax is going first. You can see, as you've opened the door, oh, hang on. Have a, a suit over the back. He doesn't have a rapier, but let's have him in the back there. <laughs> okay. Um. Try it now. <laughs> suit <Suzo. laughs> so Yeah. There's the large door to your feet. Ha um. I'm sorry. If I can keep something to do with it. Well, I was going to say, can we see what suit? What's Suter's reaction to all this? Well, it's Jackson's oh, first. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I've, I've got a cunning plan. Oh dear. Cunning as a fox. Lift the stuff to your feet. That's your Suter. Hmm. He doesn't have a glowing blade. No. <coughs> he wishes. Glowing blade, maybe. Okay, um, 
I run towards. Uh, what's her name, Alexandra? Yeah, you've got um, a movement of. So you've got um, an attack, a move, a bonus move. Right. So. And um, I'm dragging Suto with me. So that's a grapple, so that will be your action to try and grapple her. Yep. Okay, so uh, roll a d20. Three. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, so as oh, you move towards Suto and worse. sort of just try and grab him, he definitely moves to the side, just dodges you, and you stumble forward. Oh no. What are you doing, man? Right, you've got, an, you, you've got another, you've got a move, and you've got a bonus action. So you can um, do various things with bonus actions. Um, cast a spell? If it says bonus action to cast, you can, but some of them are. Um, if you look at um, time, one one that says one da. Ah. Okay, I use the seven strike to catch hold of Suto. Okay, uh, what's that do? Um, it basically. This time I hit a creature with a weapon attack. Um, a widely mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact in the target. Right, so you've, you've cast this spell, um, but you've used your attack action for this go to try and grapple him. So basically, um, the very next thing, next go, you will use your attack action to do that, but you'll still have your bonus action that go as well. Right. Uh, I'll kind of let you sacrifice your move if you like to try and do that. You Basically, what I'm endeavouring to do mm. is when I move forward, I want him in front of me. Okay, so for yeah. we'll sacrifice your move for this go, I'll yeah. let you try <laughs> this go as well. So roll a d20, see if you hit him. Uh, seven. Um, you'll probably add something like seven to that. What do you, uh, what's your attack modifier for an arm? Um, oh, well, what are you trying to hit him with? Uh, my attack modifier would be... So your attack modifier, so you go into actions. Um, you've got a hand axe, you've got this is generally plus eight. So, plus eight, so, so seven plus eight, oh, it's not quite okay. enough. So um, really he just steps out of the way again, and the sort of thorns um, um, sort of reach out and try and like wrap around the bowler around him, but they, 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 they miss and hit the wall on the opposite side. Okay. What are you doing? I'm on your side. I thought we had a deal. We do. Right, but so we need you to 14. 14. I can hold a person, can't I? Yeah. All right. So I want to hold him. Who? Suto. Yeah. Why okay. are we attacking him? With no, we want yeah. to drag yeah. him out to the I, I, I think the only there. thing that's going to protect us from that right, is him, something that he it? doesn't want to attack. Yeah, yeah. And right. the only I thing I can think of is him. Right. Okay. So you're going to cast a whole person on Suto. And then I and that so that will be a cast and then what else do I get? Do I get to move too? Yeah. And then I'm going to move towards Alexander. I'm gonna do what Jax was going to. <laughs> okay. So what's your spell save DC? Oh. Where will I find really that? very well by the way. Where will I find that in my spell save? <coughs> uh, so if you look at your spell hold person. So save it and DC. My spell hold person. Yeah, I've got WIS 14. So that's a wisdom saving throw of 14 or more. He's just rolled 16 without his bonus. So um, as you cast a spell on him, he kind of stiffens up for a second and then shrugs it off through sheer force of will. Oh, I see. It's going to be like that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Right, okay, so who's 13? Me. 13. Good luck. What have you got? <laughs> oh, so he's got okay. to make his list as well. These are all your spells. Right, but I have these ones as well, do I? Yeah, so you've got cantrips, yep. which you can do at any time. Oh, I see. First level spells, you can do more of those before you need to rest. And second level spells, you can do less of them before you need to rest. Nothing. Okay. That's all right. Well, I think that the 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 plan is 
really to <coughs> protect Alexandra as much as possible. Oh, this one. looks nice. I can protect a phantasmal image of a creature's worst fear. Oh, I like can I scare it. off the tendrils yeah, totally if they're creatures? Uh, each creature in a 30 foot cone must succeed. Must. What? They're only 30 feet away. So how far away are they? Yeah, we need to. Each of those things is five feet. So, right. uh, uh, where uh, are you? Okay. You're so, I might just terrify everybody as well. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, okay. eight, nine, ten. So that's about fifty feet away. Oh. So you could just about get Alexandra. Oh, I was hoping to get the nasties. Um, you would know that creatures like this tend to be because they they're like made of nightmares themselves. So they tend to be oh, resistant okay. to fear. They oh, tend to affect um, um, uh, people like you. Hmm, what else we got? Expedious for I know, I've looked at that one, that's really cool. We're going to run away really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, what's this one? It's no use, it's no use. It's Tasha's hideous laughter. Worth a go. Yeah. Again. Said, no. oh, that? You can yeah. move, you can move you can and move then, then do your then action. Then. So you can move, as a gnome, you have um, smaller feet. So you move 25 feet per round if you want to move. So you can okay, move five so squares. So you can move um, one, two, three, four, five. Now, hang on a minute though. So so I can move and then I can do a thing yeah. and then I have a bonus action. Yeah. Because I think. Is, is make expeditious retreat a bonus action? Yes. So I could do a thing and then run the hell back into the keep. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So what are we going to try? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't have yeah, to do. Have you got? Have you got no weapons? or sort of short, medium range weapons. Yeah, she's got a bow and she's got a, a, a fiery sword. <coughs> oh. Oh. So should I just try and attack? Or yeah. Should I just try and attack? Yeah. But the not made as much. No. So how about this blindness deafness? See if you can blind it. And then get Alexandra to run towards you. So I can choose one creature. Yeah. And it's up that's three creatures I'm assuming. It's yeah. Well one of them scuttled off. So we've got two and well, that one's no, no, attacking all him, isn't it? Huh? That's attacking him. Yeah. That's attacking mm -hmm. him. Yeah. This that's one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it killed something. Um, this round, in fact, this is all kind of simultaneous. Yeah. So this is just scurrying in and right. eating um, the, the god that was there before. Well, maybe I can try a blindness deafness on the one attacking the mayor. Yeah. There's the sheriff. Sheriff. This is, the sheriff. Sheriff, this is um, oh, she's sort of the mayor. Right. So, but he's in a bit more danger actively right now. Yes. yes. So maybe if I've got to choose one of them, maybe I should choose that one. We can attack that one. Yeah. And shout. Can. Does shouting at somebody to run towards you count as an action? No. Because mm -hmm. that you way you can do that. You can. But these are all like six-second time slots. So yeah. all of these are, all of these things are happening in the same kind of six seconds, just slightly offset. So you could attack that. Oh, and hang on a minute. No, I'm so confused. Let me pass it down. Yeah. 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 This spell allows you to move at an incredible pace. When you cast this spell, and then as a bonus action on each of your turns until the spell ends, you can take the dash action. So you will so I can, do I that can do this as a bonus sure. action. Yeah. I think so. so duration's up to 10 minutes. <coughs> so that means I can do it every time? Well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't I try that then? Sure, what are you going to do? I'm going to do a blindness, deafness, deafness spell. Right, okay. Um, what's yeah. the range of the spell? Oh, well, that's 30 feet. That's not going to go. Oh, is it? So, one, oh, two, blast, three, yeah. four, five. You can get Alexandra. Oh, blast. Okay. It doesn't have a tool. You can dash. So, as you've moved, you could move again, so you, um, but you won't get an action. So, you go, uh, you'll get a bonus, but you won't get an action. So, you go one, two, three, four. In fact, you could use your ex uh, speediest retreat, if you like, to get all the way over here if you wanted to. But then I can't do but anything. But then you can't do anything, no. And then basically you run into a fight. However, what you can do, because you are a thief, none of the rest can do this. 
Um, you can move again, um, like over here or whatever, and you can use your bonus action to hide. Uh, in which case, it's effectively you're invisible. No one can target you, okay. no one can see you until you move or do something again. So I might be helpful next time. Yeah. yeah, so you can, what I'm saying is you can get all the way up there and hide so nobody can see you. Yeah. So um, okay. you won't be Have attacked. You yeah, because cause, cause, cause you're quite high up in the in the roll as well. It's 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 a handy uh, space to be okay. in. Yeah. Because you're third. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. so um, I, what I want to do is make a stealth roll. Which? So yeah, roll a d20 and add your stealth skill to it. Twelve. Hey. Okay. Stealth and stealth. Yeah, that would be in that list there. Stealth. Eleven. Oh, nice. So, and 23 stealthing. So 23 stealth behind that tree. <laughs> Nobody can see you. Oh, we need to have sneaky eye. Okay, so I've got to say you're a stealth. So I've got tweets in the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Where's she gone? <laughs> you see um, Zesty run out into the undergrowth and then just disappear. Zesty, by the way, is a good one. Okay. So I'm most insulted right now because you're not seeing me. <laughs> no, you can't see any of you at the moment, let alone your coffee. Good point. So we're back around. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No. oh, oh uh, Suto oh. goes. Oh. Oh. And, and, and we've really. He's um, on 12. Are you on 12? Um, I think I'm on 11. Okay, and you're on 6. 2. Okay. No, I'm on 13. <laughs> so I'm on 11. You're on 13? Yeah. Alright, so okay. Uh, what's your dex? My dex. With a dex modifier. Plus two. This is plus four. So he's going to go first. Um, let's roll off. Roll <laughs> I, I rolled an 11 plus two, 13. Yeah, he's also rolled a 13, but he's got a higher dex modifier than you. That normally settles who goes first. But we'll roll off. I got a one, so there you go. Have you got anything that can charm this bugger? Because we've really pissed him off so yeah. far. So oh, where, where, am I having, where should I be targeting? We need to get Alexander to us. But, <laughs> but you might want to, yeah, you might want to yeah. have a word with him and go, I don't know. We want to get him out there, don't we? Well, yeah, but. Or between her I think, and I think, the spider things. Yeah. What have you got? Oh, you think this, this might be a game visible plan. I don't know right now. I think. It might I mean, I I yeah. think we can try talking around. Yeah. Look, it looked like we yeah. we're trying to attack you. What we're yeah. not. We're just want to. We're with trying us. to get you out yeah. with us. Yeah. And we right. don't know how you're going to react. So the yeah. idea was, I was going to make a break for it, holding on to you. Yeah. And you're slipping around like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> we're here I to think help. you may or may not buy this shit. But yeah. yeah. But should, should, should What's use, your um, charm? Well, Vincent has all the charm, so you know. I have a plus five. I have a plus five in persuasion. Yeah, I have a plus five in persuasion. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, because I've got. So you persuade got him that we were five. trying yeah. to help him get out, not um. Not kill him. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll say that. While stabbing. Him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Tell him he's persuading him that we weren't trying to kill him. We were trying to get him out with us. Well, give yeah. me your spiel. <laughs> Look, mate, we we want to try and get you out, but we thought you didn't want to get out, so we were trying roll, to get you out. Roll your persuasion. Use the word out. Oh! <laughs> we are throwing such birds at the minute. <laughs> Plus five. <laughs> oh, God. And our ones are also failed. Oh. Um, so, um. Oh. So, <laughs> look, mate, um, as you said this in your desperation, because um, you're so passionate about it, um, you can't quite control the magic in your, uh, is inherent in your being. Um, and as you say that, your eyes flare with fire. And what he hears is, they're not trying to attack you. And flames dance around your fingertips. <clears throat> oh, I believe you. <laughs> okay. <coughs> a trail to the air. I commend your bloodline. Um, he um, then is a bit trapped, so he is going to uh, run 
Now, you both, because he's run past your melee range, get an attack of opportunity. Um, Who's both? It's uh, Jackson. Yeah, he's Jackson. So he's trying to run. So you get an attack of opportunity as he rushes past you. Chip him up. Who does? You, you and, 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 and so he's fast. Yeah. He's fast. I'll take him. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hard of acid for help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could throw your acid at him. We're out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll it with the 20. Okay, we're not very bright. Okay, what are you trying to do? We've got strength of fire, Ajax. So, that's, that's, that's going to hit him. Uh, so he's going to hit him, but he's going to keep going past that. So you can um, roll your damage. Um, I'm going to try and knock him out. I'm <laughs> going to use an unarmed strike against him. Okay. Um, so uh, it, that, that kind of depends on his hit points. So uh, so he, he will be able to, to weather that blow. He won't be knocked out with that. If you've got a 20, maybe, but he right. won't be knocked out with that. Um, so you do hit him, and uh, you crack him, um, uh, to kind of just on the back of the head as he, as he stumbles past you, taking damage. Mm. Um, he goes past Cavern. What does Cavern do? <laughs> Ooh. Throw acid. In <laughs> we've got to try and stop him. Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts. Screwed up. Yeah. Oh, do I know if he has dark vision? Uh, he's a half elf, so yes, he does. Shit. <coughs> I was gonna try and blind him. <laughs> you can still blind him. I blind thought he was blind. blind. Was yeah, blinding him will blind him. He is blind, isn't he? Is he vision. not blind anyway? I thought he took his eyes out. Wasn't he blind when we picked him up? That's right. So <laughs> 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 he's all about him. <laughs> His ability to dodge no, out of the way. Um, <laughs> actually, um, he can't run. Although he was, he doesn't have his eyes. He's still at sight. He still seems to move as if he can. How convenient! <laughs> I can explain it to you with the rules uh, if you like. You need to look up warlock, and you need to look up um, uh, devil's sight. Uh, it's an ability warlocks have. So, he's moved, the, so it doesn't matter whether he's got any eyes or not, he can still see. Or he behave. seems to he have been feigning not being able to see. Okay, alright. Okay. Do your best, Faust. Come on. Come on, Faust. Come on, Faust. Do we want him dead or do we want him just to... No, we don't want to kill him. No, no, no. We just want to just either, either something that holds him in place or incapacitate him. I did forget that I introduced him to you without his eyes. <coughs> but that was my way of characterising his devil's sight. Yeah. He gave up his eyes to see no devil's sight. Uh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not it's, amazing. Not it's, it's amazing how I remember these things halfway through the game. Yeah, well, I, I just threw that in his flavour. <laughs> you know, that he had no eyes, but he's, he's, he's a warlock and yeah. he has this uh, ability we called devil's sight. We both have ropes. Yeah. Well, can I whack him with <laughs> Whack him with your book. Yeah. The I book have. you took from the necromancer. <laughs> oh, I have another book as well. I have another heavy book. You have another heavy book that you took from another necromancer. He's, he's got a collection. Okay. Now that's what I call necromancy volume two. You hit him with an improvised <laughs> weapon. Go and roll. Oh, way. You smack him. You, uh, with, He's battered again with the book, and he takes more damage, but he's going to keep moving. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's moved twice, and as his bonus action, he is... Um... Hang on, doesn't he get knocked back if he's twatted the book? <laughs> You're not that strong. Um, but Hang even... on, I had I some... <laughs> Fire. Oh, it's it's a oh, minus one. It's It's D and D. It's not the real world. Wait, what? You, you smack people and they keep moving. That's just how it works in D and D. So he's he's over there. So um. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because we've tried to. <laughs> we're just he's not running towards those. Sorry, right, he can't oh, yeah. do anything with his bonus. Well, he he would try and hide, but he's in plain sight, so that's not going to work. <laughs>
Okay, Vincent. <laughs> That's you. Uh, no, it's, it's you, Vincent. It's Vincent. I've already oh, gone. Yeah, it's Vincent. Oh, okay. We've gone down oh, yeah. to two. Okay, right. Um, um, you're the one with all the charm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I Personally, I think we need to change your tactic. And attack. No, no. I, I reckon we all want to worry because I don't think we stand the hope in hell against them. What happens if they Ooh. kill all our friends? No, well, well, we need, basically, we need to get... Grab her. Grab her. her. Which... Because what, what I was going to do was... Do. I was going to do... Um, a, 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 what have we got? Sanctuary. Which would have protected her from attack. Yeah. As a bonus action. Right. Um, do you reckon you can get to her? I can't get to her, it, but I can get closer to her. So if I, if I if I went if I went the five I think I got thirty feet. You can move six. six. Yeah, you've got longer legs than the gnome. Right. So oh, one, two, three, four. Six. You can there. just about get those range. Yeah, yeah so that'll get me to there. <coughs> yeah. yeah. And then what's the range of Sanctuary? Sanctuary's range is 30 foot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just get So I cast Sanctuary on, uh, on her and I say, we need to get out of here. Come with Blowing us. Glowing darts of energy come from your, from your hand and they wrap around you in some sort of protective glow. Sanctuary is a uh, spell commonly associated with divine magic. It makes it harder to hit someone. <laughs> right, okay, so what do okay. you say? I, uh, what, Tell us to come towards us. Yeah, come, come with us. We, get, we, we need to get out of here. Okay, so that's top of the initiative order. So these things are going to move again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, if I have bad dreams, oh, I will kill you tonight. Both are, it's fine. Well, they're not fine, but yeah. This creature, <laughs> what's the DC of your sanctuary? Uh, DC of sanctuary, uh, uh, 16, isn't it? That's right, is it? Wisdom 16. Yeah. yeah. This creature reaches into the ground, huge spider trembles come up. It launches itself at Alexandra's face. She turns away, and at the last moment, a golden light reflects off her and this creature skitters off. <laughs> the sanctuary spell works. <laughs> um, <laughs> something somebody did. I like it to go over birth. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, um, the, uh, the, the, the guard turns his hammer, swings down um, at the spider thing, and as the hammer goes down, the darkness reforms around the hammer, skim, uh, uh, climbs up it into the guard's face and dissolves him. Are these guards wearing red uh, tunics <laughs> by any chance? Uh, this thing attacks the captain. Um, the captain seems to be swiping and falling backwards, um, but otherwise avoiding being hit by this thing. Okay. Help! Guards! Guards! To arms! We're under attack! <laughs> Lady Alexandra finishes casting her spell and turns to this thing here and from her hands a, um, sort of a, a, a sort of a swathe of flame comes from her hands and hits this creature and it burns away. See she's rolling really well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She... Okay. So... Um, however, she is going to say what you said and go five. You go four. Uh, come up to you. Oh. You still think it's worth Bob for Oscar? Oscar or? I think we ask her what she thinks now. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, I just a foul magic. I think it's all coming from the temple. Though, okay, isn't it? he's going for the temple. Yeah, because that's where it's well, that's the down. only yeah summation we can make. So either we chase him. Yeah. Or we let him go. I think if we let him go, we're okay, in a world of pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think there's them. anything to be gained by staying here. No, there isn't. No, because we've got, we got nothing. Yeah. Should I blind the I don't think guy? going through them is good. But I think if we follow him... Yeah. What What if, if, if he is heading for there, 
what if one of your actions is is the, the, the speedy escape? And what if you're able to get there before him? So that we've got eyes on the place. So yeah. Jax, you can't plan this much. You're oh, sorry, sorry. Through. Yeah, meta game. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> How are we feeling oh, about this? Bastard. How about your man Tally Ho? Are we just gonna? Yeah. Yeah. Him. Him. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Him. yeah. That's not Tally Ho. That's the sheriff. Oh, I don't care about him. Okay. okay. He was racist. <laughs> Where's Tally Ho? Tally Ho has gone off to his house, which is over that side of the oh. town. Uh, Tobias has gone towards the, the, the church, church over here. Um, Waiting for his mate. <laughs> he just assumed that Tobias is the bad guy just because he hates goblins? <laughs> okay, so Jax, what are you doing? I'm dashing after him. Okay. So you. To, you reached up to him with your dash, but that's used up your da that's dash as an action. Right. So you have. Um, I'm going to my snaring strike again as a bonus action. Alright, go for it. Right. It's, it's all I got for it. Ooh! Ooh. 18. Yeah, that's a hit. So um, he makes a save against the strike. Is there a saving throw? Uh, 13. Okay. No! So um, uh, he moves to, to dodge out of the way, but as he does so, you sort of clobber him around the side of the head, so he falls straight into this mass of thorns. They just wrap around his legs and he's struggling to move as uh, he's staying where he is. Nah! I will have your head, you stone scum. No, you just listen up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're trying to take you with us. It looks worse than it is. Let the others catch up and let's head towards the treacherous stone giants. Shut <laughs> up and listen. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll catch so you, you again. All the <laughs> of yes, keep children. your curses. Right, um, at the okay, moment so we got nasty stuff going 14. on. 14. Uh, That's me. That's you. Uh, okay, so I need to uh, run up to Jax and uh, head the ball. Okay, so you can move one. You've got seven because you're actually a bit faster than your feet. One, two, three, four, two, five, three, six, three. seven. Yeah, so yeah. you can get right up just using your move. You've got your action and bonus left. Nice. What are you going to do? Have you got anything that can destroy Stab him. <laughs> yeah, I can persuade him. I have to persuade him. Okay, just to put this into context, you've launched into a full sprint. <laughs> and this man who's been ensnared by these thorny bushes thing. You better Come on! <laughs> Don't be a prick! <laughs> oh, come on, it's not the worst thing ever. Is Persuasion. there anything we could do that would. Oh, we bind him. Would we be able to like tie him up? You or? have you've tied, you've tied up his legs with this. <coughs> yeah. He's going to have to break out of that if he's going to move. Right. Okay. So you have. So should I him. use my charisma on him? I don't have very much, so two. What possible argument are you going to make? <laughs> you've got to roll. You've got to make an argument. You can't just roll the dice. You've got to say. This is all a big yeah. misunderstanding. I'll do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> How about <laughs> little jig. So you do a little jig, make it, a, uh, a performance trump. roll at disadvantage. <laughs> I'm going to convince you to do the power of <laughs> dance. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty cool. No disadvantage. Just go for it. Go for it. Oh! Yay! He seems mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Dance off, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, child. For the moment, you see this video. You want to get wider. Okay, so uh, 13. Yes. Right. Wow. Well, <coughs> I think I also want to run after them, I'm assuming. <laughs> 
Okay, so five for you. You're still hidden. I'm sort of so dashing one, as well. Yeah. Oh, you can. I'm really you quite can, so you can, as, I was as well as a rogue, you can dash as a bonus action. Right. So you can move ten and still have your action. So, can, can you um, join in the dance-off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joining in the dance-off, obviously. Seven, eight, nine, I'll say, uh, ten. So you're here. Boom, boom, and you've got your action. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Okay. You're still hiding behind a tree. Uh, you're still I'm hidden. Little, you're still <laughs> hidden. So, <laughs> so, so you're very sort of sneaky, yeah, no, hiding from bush yeah. to bush, jumping around. Well, gosh. I'm just think. Hmm. Okay. So I'm trying to think what I'm going to do next. I mean, you don't need any help then. There. There's nothing attacking you at the moment, so I don't really need it. <coughs> oh. Oh yeah. Tasha's hideous laughter. That looks like fun. I could cheer him up. <laughs> 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 Let's put a funny face. Pitiful. <laughs> that's true. Right. I think that's going to stop. Me. Okay, I'm going to make him laugh. I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, what's the DC on your uh, hideous laughter? <laughs> it does not make. Ten. So, <laughs> We're letting Ali do it. You um, you summon your um, sort of your inner gnomish magic, and you. How do you make ah. him laugh? Oh god. The big old tinder stick. I'm going to tell him jokes. Tell him jokes. <laughs> What's the deal with orcs? <laughs> They're always wandering around. <laughs> Walking like this. You heard of one about the goblin. <laughs> a goblin and an orc in a gnome walk into a bar. And they have a conversation because that's how things work. Do you know what? He just sees everything as funny. I don't have to tell him jokes. No, that's fine. Okay, right so I'm you, kind of appear, here. Uh, you kind of appear, and yeah. he's <laughs> looking at um, yeah. uh, you. Uh, Neve, who's still dancing, yeah. seeing this little yeah. being yeah. appear yeah. from a bush, yeah. going. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> he's going. Oh, what? What the? He's <laughs> 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 He just uh, <coughs> and he, he can't even stand, but unfortunately he's held to the ground with these vines, <laughs> so he's just kind of swaying wildly. <laughs> uh, uh, unable to pretty Ooh. much do anything yeah, well, but cry with laughter. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, he's crying, but he looks quite horrific because he has no eyes. <laughs> <That's a> tears <laughs> of blood. Okay, uh, Faust. Uh, you have a lie there. Oh no. Suto failed the saving throw. So he's got nothing and stuff now. What are you going to go. do? I'm going to move here and I'm going to try and use Eldritch Blast on these two. Yeah. Good chat. How, what's the range of Eldritch Blast? 120 feet. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> Sniper! <laughs> so roll two attack rolls. 2d20. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, what's your plus? <coughs> you need 16 Nine. to hit these. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, so roll damage. D10 on both, plus your charisma. Yeah. So D10 and D10. Roll 2D10. Ooh. Oh, Reroll that. Yeah. Okay, so what's Eleven. your charisma bonus? Five. 16. Okay, um, so a bolt of hellish 12, energy rises from your hands. And two sort of red bolts of fire stream from your fingertips, hit these things, and they disappear. Nice. Oh, nice well done. done. As he's, oh, oh. Um, and the cat's in the garden just standing there, looking kind of like Mogwai. Yeah. Ready to pounce. Shaking his leg from a little bit of poo that's trickled out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's nice. <laughs> this guy's funny to <laughs> Easy. You hear these words sort of shiver, and you see a kind of around this area the ground start to thread with a kind of dark energy. Science of this yoke that we released. Yeah. We need out of here. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I 
just an, an exit stage left. Um, for the bar, but yeah. 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 yeah, I think this, yeah, that's all I've got really. There's nothing because I was, I was ready for an action, but you took care of that. Um, you can hold your action, yeah. I think I'll, I'll hold my action because, um, at the end of uh, just before the end of the round, the dark energy that seeped into the ground as the spiders were destroyed focuses around here and from the ground a huge beast erupts from like oh for ah. the love of <laughs> Jesus Christ um, it looks like hundreds of these creatures have all formed into this one gigantic spider like beast um, and now your action well, I just shake this my leg. Sort of raises up before you. You can see like black ichor dropping to the well, ground. Okay. You can see a face in the uh, sort of in the sort of mist. Um, for a moment, Suto stops his laughter uh, oh, and shit. looks at this beast. Masu, my lord. <laughs> and then continues his laugh. Well, I've got a thing. Uh, well, well, okay. I suppose him for a penny. Um, <laughs> Wait, if you've got an idea, you better take it quickly. <laughs> this right. is Alexandra. Right, so she seems to be chanting a spell as, at the same time as you. For that. Okay, so I'm going to go for a spiritual weapon because that's done me what you lost far. So, um, yeah. Um, so it's... Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Listen, do you remember every time we use magic on the other? Thing. We think this thing. But, oh, it's got bigger, isn't it? Yeah, but isn't that wasn't he used Eldritch Blast and wasn't that? Oh, on the on the spiders and you, and you think this is part of that? Okay. I don't know. Well, yeah, you've got me worried now. Uh, the magic that was enhancing the thing was actually breaking the barrier. So this it so, wasn't actually hurting. Yeah, you, it was because, just because the Alexandra's uh, doing a spell. So oh, yeah, okay, yes. yeah, yeah. But thank you. <laughs> There's a good. Uh, Good, yeah. Uh, cool. yeah, so yeah, I'm going to use a spiritual weapon, please. Um, right, as you like cast a spiritual weapon, um, it, it grows bigger. No, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> it gets three more spiders coming <laughs> up. <on that. laughs> uh, Alexandra reaches um, down to a spell component pouch, seems to uh, rub two of the components together, and as she raises her hand, an arc of lightning comes from her uh, fingertips. And a bolt reaches from uh, sort of for, for, from the end of her hand into this creature. Huge bolt of lightning um, hits it. Oh my god! You've run out of D6 lightning does eight D6 damage. So uh, that's 12, 16, 26, uh, 8, 9, 32 points of damage. Um, so this, uh, oh, I need to make a save. Which doesn't So this sort of lightning crackles around this creature, and you can see um, it starts to fray slightly before reforming. It's still standing. Right. Your special weapon. Has it taken any damage? It, it seems has, to yeah. have, yeah, frazzled. The little bits of it have fallen off, okay, it falls onto the ground. It's still hanging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My, so my spirit, uh, spiritual weapon is a giant concrete fly swap. <laughs> <laughs> so spiritual weapon creates a um, from golden light creates an object that he can decide what it looks like, and then he yeah. can use it and move it and try and hit things with it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Useful So. Usually uh, one off my shotgun. Yeah. So yeah. So. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't you only need to make an attack for it. Yeah. Oh, come on. 14. 14. Yeah, 14 plus your spiritual weapon bonus, which is probably about 8, is it? Yep. That's going to hit. So do, uh, what's the damage on spiritual uh, It's uh, 2d8 plus 5. Go for it. You want one of mine? Uh, that's right. Uh, that's a d8, isn't it? Yeah, oh, d8. Uh, d8, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Perfect order, perfect. Here's another d8. Oh, cool. Thank you. Five, ten. ten points of damage. So like Swat! Like the thing it sort of jumps to the side, and one of its um, one of its uh, legs. legs gets squished under this thing, 
and it's now a seven-legged nightmare. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's worse. Oh, <laughs> <that's an even laughs> okay, top of the initiative it goes. As far as I left no, because this was at the end of the go. So yeah. uh, Vincent and uh, Alexander go at the end of the go. So it's all the same go. Top of the initiative order, this thing is going to move. Oh bugger! Um, it's going to. One, two is going to pick um, Alexandra. Three, four is going to pick Vincent. Five, six is going to go for the uh, guy over there. Dragon Ball. So, goes for Alexandra. Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Wait. Yeah! (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Okay, and uh, he swings over and um, sort of... uh, Two of its pincers go for her. Uh, she moves to the side. It sort of smacks into the ground, and and then as it gets up, it swipes past uh, and reaches into her and sinks into her. Hey. Oh. Okay. So the whole creature so, just gets absorbed into her. Uh, she her eyes go dark for a second. So the so the shapeshifter. So the protection spell that I I oh. gave her. Hang on. Yeah. <coughs> so it swings at her, okay, and then um, it, uh, then, it, then it hits some sort of golden spark thing <laughs> and falls backwards. It saved her life. Okay. <laughs> is that a concentration spell? Is it? It stays in effect as long as you're concentrating. I hope so. so. <laughs> really? I think it does. I think it's concentration. So it's all right. So it's still there. Yeah. Is it concentration? Well, duration one minute. So duration one. That's fine because actually, okay. if it was concentration, you'd be screwed. Because, because of, of you've just got concentration on, on spiritual weapon. Yeah. So okay. okay uh, so now it's Jax. Okay. Um, I move first. Yeah. yeah. Um. He's still in snare. He's still he? laughing and yeah. in snare. You can move so right past him. I move to line of sight and chuck a javelin of lightning at this. Oh, game. very good. That's like a lightning bolt. So roll your d20. Eighteen. That's Ooh. a very good hit. So um, I think it does eight d six damage. Uh, Turns into a bolt of lightning, which does 8d6 damage. Uh, 46. Does it 46? Right? Yeah. 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 I think because you could. Have I got a lightning bolt? Yeah. 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 You've got some pretty 14. cool spells back here. Yeah. I can't find anything that's. I've got charm at person. Right. That didn't let me, work let me out. see your thing. This is what I would care. Wow, God. Yes. <laughs> well, you get to pick. You get to check. I'm like them. I'm yeah, like them. That's my comparison. I'm like them. You get to pick at the start of each day yeah. what you want to have. See, what you want to go for is something like a fourth level spell called Blight that does like 8d8 necromatic damage. Oh, no. <laughs> or, or you can call. You can get a wall of fire that can block off the stuff. You're actually 20. one of the most powerful spellcasters in here. Well, it'd be all right if I knew how to use it. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah. So you hit me with fourteen. Okay, great. So, um, um, great. But another yeah. another couple of his legs <coughs> drop off as your javelin goes right through, uh, um, as a bolt of lightning oh. hitting, skittering over oh, here okay. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hitting, hitting the captain, the guy. No, uh, I'm um, live. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, he gets to go as well. So he's gonna. Oh. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake! This is just throwing all my fun up in the air. Uh, he's going to rush up. No! <laughs> <laughs> he actually doesn't get a go because he's dashed. Oh, so, for um, God's sake. Okay, so. Uh, so like, he's a crap. He's 14. Becky, is it? Five. Five. Sorry, <laughs> all right, so what's Blight? Leave. 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 Right, so. What will Blight do? So, uh, give me your, your, your thing. Can you not just tell me? It just says Blight, love. Yeah. Are you going to tell so I don't think it? you've memorized. I think what you've memorized. No, I have not memorized any of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got to. I was out, to... Miss. I was sick. <laughs> oh, we My cat was sick. <laughs> well, let's say, let's say you've, um, <laughs> let's say you've memorized Ice Storm. 
So ice storm creates a storm of ice in a 20 foot sphere. Oh yes. Cold as ice. That's you a, you better not set the ice. It freeze everybody. Yes, it would get everybody within five. Like, you send it on him. Percent. So if you put it here. If it's about there, it's going to hit just him. It's going to hit... Um, and the sheriff? Possibly the sheriff. I don't care about the sheriff. <laughs> Alright, yeah. You can put it there. Well, we put well, it there. Like last week we shot the deputy, so it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. What about Me, this is above? You. No, this no. is me here. We oh, you yes, you could, right. actually. You can. Could you cast it? Very clever. Do you shout that out to her before she says <laughs> Cast <laughs> Make a Make an intelligence check. Make an intelligence check. Why well, is that what? Just make a roll intelligence to see, you hear to see what you get and see if you listen to Jack. I know. What dice do you want? D20. Usually it's D20. 14. Oh, yeah, so that's yeah. enough. Okay. <laughs> I've heard that. Okay, so Shoot you you were about to hit both of them and then Jack's saying, aim up! <laughs> and then it okay. occurs to you that if you hit it here, then you can get its head yeah. and avoid everybody else. Okay, alright, so okay. I'll do that. Have you one duck? <laughs> so roll the damage for your oh, ice boy. storm. <laughs> it says there on what your ice storm damage. What is it? Uh, ice storm. <laughs> Uh, I got dexterity fourteen. Where is it? Oh, that's damage? that's its saving throw. It's got to make a saving throw. Where is its uh, damage? It fails. Where is its damage? Uh, it should be if you read across the line, it will say some three hundred foot deep. to twenty foot. Then it says VSM instantaneous PHP two fifty two twenty foot cylinder of VSM. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why this is so easy to under bleed and stand. <laughs> You should have gone digital, though. I don't think it would have made that much well, difference. It's, it's, it's weird. Some of the stuff is easier to, to I understand on the yeah. phone. Yeah. Right, just because well, you can you can zoom in and find all the details. I know, but I just keep kicking Let's just say it's a D12. I think it's good. Yeah, we can. Uh, what's it called? Ice Storm. My two students in there going, Oh, I did it! Bye. Did I tell you that, Hash? I kicked myself out of the online seminar room today. I left my two I've students in there scratching their heads, wondering where their tutor takes 46 is. Takes cold damage. Wow. So he takes four, he failed his saving throw. So he takes forty six cold damage. D- d- forty six cold damage. Does cold and cold damage that 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 carries on, doesn't it? No, it's oh. just some things are immune to it. That's a really poor roll. Oh yeah. Uh, nine. Three. Have you got luck? Nine. So nine, nine points of damage. damage. That's fine. Um. So um, you summon a storm and a sort of this swirling ball of ice uh, comes from the thing and it sort of hits its head and it gets buffeted by large hail pipe stones and the rest of it falls on its body. It's looking pretty rough, but it's still standing. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I, I have a thing, a blindness, deafness thing. Okay. So I can blind or deafen a foe. I think it's my choice. Okay, Whether go I for blind it. or deafen, so if I blind this piece... Go for it, reckon. try it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to roll. I have to roll to see if I make the saving throw. I've got throw. 17. Oh. No. So now you I'm don't want him to have a 17, no. so no, I won't no, use that roll that, for no. it. Yeah. <laughs> What's the um, um, saving throw on the, on the, on the blindness? Is it, is it, does it say con 15? Was that yeah, the con 15. So I have yeah. to roll 15 on a constitution saving throw. Oh, right. It gets plus 6 to constitution saving throws. Oh dear. So, um, Come on, go on, go on, I'll let you Nine. see it. Oh. Oh, okay, so um, the magic fails to take effect as it sort of keeps its uh, multiple eyes open. <laughs> uh, um, okay. yeah. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can still move if you want. I know, I'm wondering, I'm wondering whether to run away. And you can <laughs> hide. <laughs> Remember, you're a rogue, so you can, if, as long as you can get out of sight, like, um, like behind that tree, you can also hide, which effectively makes you invisible. What? It would be silly not to in the middle of the battle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Manage to hide behind there and roll stealth. Yeah. Yeah. Could be invisible. So um, we'll leave that thing there. So uh, right. So it's um, Faust. We've got a cunning plan. Currently. Involving twatting it with a book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Suto is still spider. Suto is still laughing. Um, <laughs> Everyone's got to do it together, so I can't do uh, a fireball right now, but I can cast a wall of fire that will just basically ensnare the spider. You can. Go for it. Um, it's 
Do I need to cast it? It's concentration. Uh, he gets a save, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the save? Dexterity 16. He makes the save, so roll 5d8, he takes half damage. There's 4. He does a 6. 5d8, yeah. There's one. Another one? Yeah, that's 10. Okay. Yeah. There's one. 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 Um, and this wall of fire now blocks off. Um, oh yeah. Can, uh, your man. Well, he yeah. can get around it. Yeah, no, well he can, but it's um, it, it's a barrier between them at the moment. Okay, so. so he's just whacking back into the fire. Uh, him it's, no, it's Suto. Suto. Suto failed the saving throw, so he's still laughing. Mm-hmm. Right. So I've still got a second go with this spiritual weapon, haven't I? Yep. You can. Does that do count? Your... Does that count as an action? Or no, it's a bonus action each round. Now. Right. Okay. So you can keep attacking with it each round and do an action. Right. So if I... the rest of us, is it? Well, yeah. So, so I was thinking. Go with the spiritual weapon. This will again. be your spiritual weapon. Oh, because <laughs> um, I was thinking about putting sanctuary on on her again, or go for the attack. It's still, it's still like it's, it's still, still there's ten rounds. Okay, okay, oh, okay, so, uh, don't worry about that. Um, I'll go for yes, yeah, so I'll go for a <coughs> lightning bolt. Uh, <coughs> so it's a hundred foot. So if I again aim high. That, will that work? No, or? so lightning bolt is from your fingertip. Okay, so, uh, so oh, so it's, it's just, it's, a, it's distance, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I'll, um... Don't shoot the pub. Don't shoot the what? The pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no. The oh, roof's on no. fire! Let the mother burn. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for that. Okay, yeah. so he's going to make the same throw against your DC, which is... 16. Which he does not take. So he takes full damage. 86 lightning damage. Yeah. So 86 is yeah. Oh, damn it again! Your daughter is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's Hi, cool. You're right. right. So that's... Oh, too many. So six, isn't okay. it? Okay. Yeah. It's eight. Is it eight? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. No problem at all. But the condition is his parents need to know where he is. Okay. Is that alright? Okay. Cheers. That's fine. Adam's drunk. Doesn't want to go home and face the music. Can he stay at that one? Okay, yes, I feel like we're harbouring a fugitive. 36. 36. Feels a bit like his parents might want him home. Well, their problem not ours, they're 18. Absolutely. Yeah, they're yeah, 18. All these kids are 18. Yeah, actually, I've been 17. So. How do you want to go? So, um, no, you can't have the social day. So, lightning bolt, um, is it, is it one? It just comes straight out of my fingertip, presumably. No, 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 okay. So yeah, so right, just, just so I just go here. I must should write. I must should write. You're right. Your condition was good. Go and and I'm, I'm go, aiming straight for uh, the 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 beadiness of all his eyes. Just <laughs> you know, so the, uh, lightning crackles from your fingertips yeah. yeah. and heads straight for That's his it. eyes. Um, as it hits his eyes, it shrieks backwards, but your lightning keeps going, and you step forward slowly. It's going to fire. Um, uh, <laughs> it heads backwards into the wall of fire, and this thing kind of explodes in blacky core as the fire thing burns and your electric thing goes, and all the magic is gone. And at the same time, 
he leans forward and stabs and says, I killed it! <laughs> he just runs the wall of fire. No, the wall of fire is gone. It, it dissipates with the, the, the magic of it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could do it! <laughs> um, and with that, your spiritual weapon fades, oh. and uh, <laughs> you have beaten this thing. So as you're sort of um, standing there, uh, catching your breath, um, the only sound really, apart from you, sort of uh, is this. <laughs> oh, I'm not the sound of distant drums, you yeah. know. Oh, you can hear the distant drums yeah. while Suto continues to laugh. Okay. I'd like Suso like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's a whole game. Guy. <laughs> yeah, we have to throw that in every time yeah. now. <laughs> Eventually the spell will fade. I think I will. <laughs> we'll just do it again. Really it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so have we all calmed down a little bit? Yes. Yeah. So, Alexandra's looking at Suto. Oh, and yeah. So is Thurrock. Is that Lord uh, Kijitsu's boy? What's going on here? <laughs> Who wanted to go tell us that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it still bound? Uh, no, that's fading too. Oh, God, so it doesn't yeah. even look like But he good. slumps to the floor. <laughs> He's giggling, giggling. Got uh, a bruise yeah. in his head from a book. Ooh, <laughs> hang on. Oh. No. <laughs> Why not? What? <laughs> I think it's a time of conversation, not magic. No, I, I think I'm going to lie to me, hide Suta. <laughs> <laughs> Put the lights out? Yeah, outside. Darkness. Oh. Just blind him. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, make a um, arcane law. Oh, God. Is that what you want to do? <sighs> what, do we want to face the music? <laughs> Dogs. Do what music? Is there any music to is face? Like, is, I think he's going to be like, why are you harboring a fugitive or something? Is Have he a fugitive? Is he? Well, he's what? a baddie, isn't he? What's he's going an enemy. on? I think it's time we have a talk, don't you? Get the drinks in, we'll be there That's in a thorough. few minutes. And this is Thorough, is it? Yeah. yeah. Let's go in their tower. We need to talk about some things. Alexandra is just looking at me thoughtfully. Why do we have to go to the tower? Why can't we go to the pub? Where is the Well, then we can go to the inn. Okay. And bring uh, that boy with you. We should probably listen to what he's got to say, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so far I'm listening to what he's got to say. Okay, so are you all following, uh, are you all going into the inn? Yeah, you can go in first and get the round in. Uh, the inn's kind of closed for business, but you can... Oh. You can yeah, yeah, we've got the key. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's it's open, it's just if there's nobody serving or whatever, you have so to So we're all yourself. in the in the pub? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not at the counter? Very important. Invisible. Oh, that was... Oh, am I invisible? Oh, I do. Stealth. You don't need this anymore. No, I don't need this anymore. Take this off. Oh. Are we getting another map or are we just on the clock? Just on the clock. So, um, Alexandra hasn't said anything, um, but as you go into the, the end, she seems to be um, very uh, uh, thinking about it. She seems to be very thoughtful. Um, Thorough cutters you all in. And he puts um, the, uh, the the lock on the inn door. It's got one of those um, wooden. Uh, it's, not, it's not got a lock. It's got a wooden. Uh, what do they call it? When they put the uh, wooden into that's the right, thing. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's just got a, a wooden bar. Oh, wooden lock, floor. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> a wooden floor. Um, dark magic. I'm assuming this has something to do with him. <laughs> Okay, um, 
forget about him for a minute. What were you going to come and say to us? You're on your way over here when those things attack. We well, got rid of him for you, so what were you going to say? We were going to ask for your aid. Well, it looks like you were making your own plans. I don't know what. Listen, this town can't stand against a assault by goblins. None of us can. There's too many of them, but they're not supposed to act like this. Goblins don't help each other. They fight each other. Something's united them, that's clear. From what we've seen tonight. Some dark magic. I know you know something. I know you've seen something. You need to share what that is, or... Damn it! Don't you care at all about anybody around you? Don't be so negative. <laughs> <laughs> we were coming out to talk to you. We, we didn't bring the spiders from Mars. <laughs> but we said earlier, and we stand by it, I think we need to find out what's going on. We need to get some in intel. Why don't we I agree. see if we can somehow get the other side of this line of goblins and see if we can find out what's going on. We'll get a message back to you and then we can come up with a plan. And you think you can just go into a camp of goblins? You think that's going to work? Yep. Well. Pretty sneaky. Well, okay. No idea. I don't. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> good news is there is another plan. Does it involve you this giving us money? Uh, no. You got here. I imagine through tunnels of some sort. There are tunnels all around the city or the town. It is built on the city, a much older city. You may have seen some parts of it. We could use them to escape if we had time. Time to perhaps fight off any problems that did come here. How are we going to buy some time then, Alexandra? Some people will have to stay behind. But the rest, they could be led to safety. That's too dangerous. Well, we don't know where safety is, Alexandra. That's the problem. There's something dodgy, dodgy down on the shoreline as well. I understand. But I don't put much faith in your plan of negotiating with goblins. But if you can explain some details about how you're going to do that and what help you might need, perhaps then... I would understand. We weren't so much thinking about negotiating with them as... I see, you're not quite as crazy as you look. <laughs> <laughs> so, we need to what we all know about goblins is they don't work together. Agree. So and they don't tend to wait to attack. Yeah, so there's obviously someone or something has some kind of controlling influence over them. Agree. What we're going to try and do is find out if we can find out who or what that is, and depending on what we find. Are, are goblins beasts? No. No, I think it's chicken. They're kind of humanoid. Oh, that's them. Okay. Um, so the last time they arrived, they just attacked the place. So they don't tend to just wait, and they're waiting for something. Or they're being held back. Or like they're, something. yeah, they're under some yeah. spell. <coughs> well, our options are to find a way to retreat, or you can scout around and see what you can find out. The goblins, the highest, most sacred ground for the goblins is a place deep in the Nesselwood Forest. A place called Thistletop. Have you heard of it? Oh, oh yeah. yes, where he wanted to go. Oh, no. oh, oh yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've heard the name. <laughs> so Suto is Shut somehow. Shut up. In, uh, Suto is somehow involved in this. Oh, I, that's in, as inside thoughts. 
Yes, but you spoke them out loud. <laughs> okay. So what? I just walk out of the toy. Why am I my Oh that he said that <laughs> Okay, make a deception roll. <laughs> Oh, very good. Okay, so you, she looks at you quizzically. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said fizzle tail. <laughs> fizzle tail. <laughs> Twinkle is all pop. Fuzzy, fuzzy, was a woman. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Alexandra, have you got anything in your bag of tricks that might be able to help us on our way? Depends what you're trying to do. Well, you know we that we don't do story. anything bad as a <laughs> We do things badly. <laughs> yeah, but not bad stuff. We're not bad. Or you can come with. Why don't you come with us, yeah? I have to protect this town. Oh, so, my question still stands. You've got anything to help us out? What do you intend? We intend to try and get to Thistletop, not Fizzletown. Put me under the curtain. Well, guys, I don't want our day off. Oh. Um, we've got a big um, week in each diner. <laughs> if we can find out whatever or whoever is influencing the goblins, try and stop that interaction from happening. If we're it's... unable to do that, we'll come back and let you know. If it we're is, still alive. It is clear from what you've said and what we have seen that there is someone controlling the goblins. However, there is magic involved here, powerful magic. We have seen it. I think whatever is in Thistletop, we must bring to an end. But you will have to somehow sneak past an army. Are you capable of doing so? Yeah, we yeah, can pass without can trace for 10 plus bonus rounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very well. For up to an hour we can pass without trace. Yeah, and leave without trace maybe. Um, I will give you... I would have given you the services of my gilgam, but it appears... I no longer have that in my gift. He wasn't up to much though, was he really? <laughs> I was going to say, he was you, you, want to, you want to send Amazon.co.uk a bit of a strongly worded review on that one. Oh, four, two stars at most. You know your bag of tricks, Alexandra. Yeah. You must have something in there for us. <laughs> Potions, lotions? What resources we have, I have given to the town guard. They better defend us. The one that's dead? No, no. the dead. No, they're dead. We yeah. have more. Yeah, there's more than two. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're wearing various shades of red uh, tunic. Okay, I can give you weapons, <laughs> but I fear what you really need is healing potions that will keep you alive and in that capacity i cannot help but i know someone who can father tobias he has so a large a stock yeah but he had the whole thing on. yeah he has large stock of healing but i don't think you've made a very good impression with him. maybe i'll go to the back of the, the why don't the, we head to the cathedral yeah <coughs> I don't have a word with him. Do you think you could persuade him to aid our cause? Uh, Give it a go. Yeah, why not? We saved him once already. At least once. <clears throat> Nobody tried to shoot him. <laughs> but, but it's going to be so cut approach. Other than that, it's fine. I'm going to put up a plate though. It's fine. <laughs> Vincent the Charmer, they call me. <laughs> we, we should put that down to the fact you were hungry. Yeah. If you will come, uh, if he will help you, all, uh, all well and good. If he will not, come to my um, 
come to our business premises and we will I will try and outfit you with what I can. Okay, so now if we go to the temple, Alexandra, and you don't see us, you can just take it that we got the potions from him. All right, we'll be back in a while. I should say something else. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with Balin of the Unshackled? I'm not saying nothing, but we are. Is he the big guy? Yes. He was in the pub. Bald guy. Yes. No, what do you know about Balin? <laughs> <laughs> he has become increasingly influential these past few weeks and months. His, his, him and his organisation, they have been aiding people who are hungry. Um, hungry or angry or hungry. It's <laughs> basically what you've been for last month. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Many people respect the unshackled here. He, um, he indicated he would like to speak to you. Do you yes. know what? Everyone wants to chat. We got either we need to do this or not. Hey, where is he though? There it's is gone. um uh, an old temple. Temple. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 is he at the cathedral? It's one of the temples in the noble district that is disused. Is there no it like refurbished it? No you know we can we can send out birds like a tweet or something just to, to pass on messages. Is there no you know no? Okay. I can pass him a message yes. for you on your behalf. Yeah. Um, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> so he asked you to come and visit him in his building. He doesn't call it a temple anymore. Oh, it's Scientology. Okay. He says he has an intriguing offer for you, one that you would find hard to refuse. Oh, so he just wants to kill everyone. The goblins are not doing the work, and he just. Sort of doesn't okay. Know. So. Hear what you're saying, but I think we all agree that time's of the essence. So you to stop laughing by this point. Uh oh. Put it back on him. Tell him a joke. You're going to cast it on him again. <laughs> <laughs> he starts laughing again. Yay! <laughs> he goes, ha, ha, ha. ha. <laughs> 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 um, time is of the essence. Yeah. We'll go and see the priest. See what he's got for us. And then, he's got then, <coughs> then you can tell your man Balin we'll try and catch up with him a bit later. Alright. She hands you a stone, a uh, small piece of stone that seems to have a, a, an arcane ruin inscribed in it. Right. Um, she says, if you need to contact me, think of me and hold this in your hand. I will know. Okay. All right. Uh, Is it a one-shot deal? No. Should we try it? Do a quick cons check. <laughs> one, two, two. One. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a loud voice in my head. <laughs> it. It's a form of telepathic communication, but it works once per day. And it only works it work to add it time. enables a minute conversation with the other holder of the stuff. Mm. Right. So it's it's the, the sweet tin cans. Tin cans right. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll keep that safe. We'll be in touch. Full release of regulation. Having us because we don't want to forget. I have yeah. Okay. Um, right, so are you are you taking Suto with you to the... Um, to yeah, he's a right laugh. I think, <laughs> once he stops laughing... For the laughs. laughs. We'll probably talk to him at some point. If I we're heading towards the cathedral, life. we might be able to persuade him, look, we said we'd go to the cathedral and help you out. And that's what we're doing. We're on our way to the cathedral to help you out. A bit unorthodox, but that's kind of the way we roll. Yeah. <laughs> Normally threes. No, and, <laughs> and he'll either buy it or he won't, but... And we, we've still got no way of getting out of here, other than what he was suggesting. I know a way out. I will still take you, even after you try to kill me. We didn't try to kill you. We tried to take you with us. Anyway, it's not all <laughs> of your semantics. Have you heard the one about the goblin? <laughs> Don't tell me any drugs! Please, please. Don't let the little one near me. <laughs> Why did the elf cross the road? No! 
Um, you make your way towards uh, the cathedral. The um, it's kind of eerie. It's still quite far from dawn, um, but after all the chaos and the fighting, um, the drums seem to have stopped, um, and it's kind of quiet and almost peaceful as you come into the cathedral. Um, Anybody around? You swing. Um, so you, you should get up to the cathedral doors. They seem to be just open a crack. Um, but you guys, you keep going. Uh, uh, can we stop and listen? Can, we, can I do a perception? Can we do a perception check? Can I do a t detect magic as yeah, well? Yeah, well, uh, you cast. You oh. wave your detect magic oh, wand. Yeah, I've got a goodie. Have you? Yeah. How about I'll try. I'm using my primeval awareness. I can expend one ranger spell slot to sense that any aberrations, celestial dragons, elementals, fey fiends, or undead are present. Oh, what are you trying to look for? Hmm? You've got to just pick one. Pick one. Oh. I'm going to look for. What's an aberration when it's at home? An aberration is like the thing that you fought. Uh, the, it's a creature from another world that right. fled into ours. We don't choose a celestial by that one. Yes. So I'm fairly sure that any aberration we slotted. So I'm going to use primeval awareness to try and see if there's any celestials. Oh, we're looking for your own mother way. Mm. You don't get the sense that um, you get the sense that that would pick her up, but she is nowhere in the vicinity. Right. Do we go into the temple? Yeah. Is it worth me doing the detect yeah. magic or? Yeah. 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 yeah, sure. yeah. So yeah, just um, to do a thirty foot range. Yeah, maybe you tell the priest to jump. <laughs> As you sort of mumble the words and the, uh, the spell goes uh, from the wand, um, there's a, for a moment, the wand appears to vibrate slightly and then it's gone. Right. So there's it's something, possible. but it's, it's weak. Weak, yeah. Possibly. Okay. You've never really seen that kind of reaction before. Uh, can I just spell well? magic so that... Yeah, you cast the spell magic, and uh, a wave of energy comes from you that um, is designed to counter spells. Okay. Um, How long does that last? Uh, it, it, it's a one shot. It's like a, a spray of disinfectant. Can I do detect magic again? Uh, you sense nothing. Apart from it. the stuff that's on you. Yeah. Oh, beep, okay. beep, beep! Oh no, it's me! <laughs> So right, I think we go in. <coughs> the door creaks open slowly, the large cathedral doors echoing through um, the stone and wooden um, corridor. At the far end, towards the altar, you see Father Tobias with his back to you. Oh, no. He seems to be kneeling in prayer. Okay, um, can I use Hunter's Sense to see if he's up to no good? Uh, does that work? Make a perception. Oh. You don't see anything untoward. Seems to be um, focused on whatever he's doing. As you continue stepping forward, you can see all down the walls. For a moment you freak out slightly because they're gargoyles all uh, lining inside uh, in the walls. But they're all various creatures that you recognize from religious studies as relevant to Shalia in some sense. She's a savior of the lost. 
transformer of the irredeemable. Um, that, that, is, that is her purpose, to save those that others have considered monsters. Right. Can we head towards the catacombs without him seeing us? You if have to go past him to, to the back to get to the catacombs. Okay, but we've got... <coughs> You can try and sneak past him. I've, I've got a super sneaky thing. Yeah, it's pass without trace. Yeah. That's plus 10 for your stealth. So yeah, you can try and sneak or sneak past him. You can cast pass without a trace, roll stealth if you're all going to try and sneak past him. Have we? Yeah, I've got it. I think. You haven't got it? Yeah. Oh, um, one no, person needs to cast it and it affects everybody around him. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, we have to roll. Everyone in radius. I, I can go if you like. You all have to roll your own stealth. Okay. So what do we roll? D20. D20? Yes, roll a D20 please. Oh, that's a bit of a disadvantage. Nine. 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 And so you, modify you add your stealth to it. You've got a stealth skill. Where would I find plus my stealth? I think yours is like plus 11. I think it's probably in this list here. Oh, yes, plus 11. Uh, She's lucky because I only got 7. So you, got, you roll 7, plus 11, 20, plus 10 from Pass oh. Without a Trace. 20, so, um, 25. Every, remember, everyone gets plus 10 because of Pass Without a Trace that's been cast by Jet. Okay, so yeah, I've got 24. Yeah. As you um, as you uh, sort of get up and walk past um, Father Tobias, silent as the grave, you move past as you're going towards the the back corridor, which is the entrance to the catacombs, and you see an expression on his face. It is transfixed. He is very dead. There is a dagger in his chest. He is propped up against the altar and blood has spilled out all across the top mm -hmm. and there appears to be a word scratched into the altar itself. In what language? It's funny you should say that. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's written in the language that you recognise. Oh no. It's written in No. <laughs> Inferno. Which is Dragon. Yeah, and it's a dark magic thing that he. Bogar's been on a bad one again, lads. <laughs> lads, lads, lads. Um, it just says two words. Ghost did it. <laughs> Three days. Fantastic. And three days, we stop for the evening. It's like Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so what, you reckon if the dagger pops out and he comes back in three days? Yeah, it's all in the cave. Or you better Gringo comes back in three days. Oh. Oh. Badger. Oh, Badger. Yeah. yeah. No, Badger was, Badger's been dead longer than just three days already. <laughs> Badger's been dead for that Oh yeah, Gringo's only been dead. Yeah. yeah Badger's been dead more than six months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 right, so we better sort out another date. I'm going to ask us my Google Calendar. Not sure we know. Actually, sure, it's all recorded. I love the light rig as well. That's great.